everybody, it's your boy. I guess I'm your boy, either that or it's your enemy. <laughs> what's up, what's up, everybody? Welcome to episode number four. Number four. Um, with this new series that I started, I guess this is episode four, so roughly a month ago. Um, just want to make sure I can hear myself, okay? Uh, this is just a time that I uh, set aside. I'm trying to do this once a week now. And if, you know, for people that may have some questions, just general music questions, uh, music theory, questions about the piano, uh, you know, if I do not, let me say this, I am, I do not know everything, but if it's something that I know and it's something that I can help you with, I will answer it. I also, um, uh, I will allow you to join me right here on screen right now. That link that I just posted in the, um, comment section if you would like to join me and you want to ask your question live or even just hang out for a little bit and just kind of talk a little music, feel free. Uh, my other live stream I, is not open. I don't just let anyone in. That's by special invitation. But this new one is for anybody that wants to come on. So if you have any questions, you can type your question in the chat box over there or you can actually come online and talk to me right now. And if I can, like I said, I can't answer everything, you know, but if I can help you, I got you. And if I can't help you, then I'll get offline. Okay. What's up? So I see my, um, my, 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 my baby girl, Jewel over there. What's going on, Jewel? I know I owe you some music. Um, it's, it's, it's been really hard this week. I'm telling you, I'm trying to get it done. I'm trying to, uh, fresh sounds, Florida. What's going on, man? How you doing? How you doing? And just hello to everyone else. Again, this is just a session. Like if you have some questions that you want to ask, ask away. Um, even if you have some semi-personal questions, like I know people was asking, oh, well, how old were you when you started playing? And you know, where you go to school? You know, questions like that. You know, not when I say personal, I'm not talking about, so are you seeing somebody right now? I ain't talking about that person, you know, but I'm talking about personal questions that involves music <laughs> i'll say that <laughs> personal questions that involve music in some uh way shape or form um let me see i have a question now it says hey mr house of jazz this is from joshua patterson uh it says have you ever done midnight train to georgia from gladys night i well before i answer this question I can always be wrong. It's a possibility that I'm wrong, but I'm going to say no. Um, I've done a whole lot of tutorials in the, um, like, probably over a thousand tutorials. So there are tutorials that I forgot that I've done, but that does not ring a bell. I know the song. I definitely know the song, but um, I don't think I've done it yet. So if you're interested and me doing a tutorial for it feel free to just go to the description box of any of my tutorial videos and instructions on how you can um request a you know tutorial to be made will be right there so we got sir james back with us again what's going on sir not my cousin james but the other james <laughs> what's going on man i'm good i i, I couldn't get with you guys uh Saturday. Yeah, you didn't. Yeah, I, yeah, you thought she was too good for us. We we got you, man. You uh, thought she was too good for us. <laughs> that rain came down to about seventeen inches wow. in an hour, and That's you know they had all those floods. People died. It was it was crazy, man. It was crazy. Wow. Now, we didn't get any of the flooding. We got more of the lightning on my end of uh, of Tennessee, but it wasn't that far from us. So, but. Um, okay. Happy to be with you. I do have a question. And she's okay. been playing for a number of years. This, it, it may not be your, t it's not a theory question per se, although it could be. Uh oh, uh oh, uh -oh. he getting personal. No. <laughs> no I'm just playing. So I've been playing keyboard for just a few years here now, a couple of years, and uh -huh. I'm still the chord in the right hand, one bass note in the left hand. 
So how do you develop to where you can start either, I don't know if you're playing like the, uh, the root note of the chord and I don't know which other finger you might be using. To okay, okay, now what are you asking? I want to make sure I understand what you're asking. Say that again. Yes. I know you said two hands. You said with your left hand, sometimes you're only playing one note at a time. Right. I'm basically just playing one note, the bass note, okay. and chord in the right hand. But I'm trying to learn to develop. And I, what, what technique can you use to get you to stretch out? Because I've been trying to play that, that pinky thumb octave thing. Oh, and, yo, you mean like playing with the octaves? Oh, yeah, that's it, I, I, mean. I, don't even, I don't think there's a trick to it. By the way, I'm just checking something on my audio. Does my voice still sound exactly the same as it did when I first started? To me, it does, yeah. Okay, I just wanted to make sure because in yeah. my headphones, something's going on. But as long as y'all can hear me, I just want to make sure y'all can hear me. But, um, yeah, um, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. It's just, I mean, have you just tried to do it? Have I mean, have I mean, you been like? I'm trying, but it, I guess I'm just not consistent. I would just lazily go back to the one note because I can play that one note in the chord. Right. Play, but it's like, you know what? It does fill it out. And then there are some chords you play where you may be playing. Yeah, sometimes, um, depending on the chord, it, it's, it's certain chords I naturally sometimes will chord with my left hand too. I'm not the best when it comes to left hand chording at that much. I can do it because on like an example of when I actually play chords with my left hand, it's the intro to Ribbon in the Sky. Like my left hand is like literally I'm using all five fingers, but it's not that often that I do that. But most of the time, yeah, if you look on my videos, my fingers are stretched out like this. <laughs> yeah. And um, I really don't have any um, technique outside of just actually just do it because <laughs> it, it was just something that I always naturally did as I was learning how to play the piano. So it, it was just, it's like I always just stretched out my fingers. I, I'm, I'm assuming it's all about learning muscle, you know, getting that muscle memory. Yeah. And yeah. so the more you do it, the more comfortable you feel. And um, then it's like you just naturally go there. But I, I, I don't really necessarily have a secret, <laughs> per se, That's on how to do that outside of just practice. Yeah, it's not really a, a theory thing. It's like you said, it's a, and you use the proper term, it's muscle memory. That's, right. that's really what it is. I got to get there though, because, you know, it Hold just. Hold on one second, James. I'm trying to fix my audio in my headphones. Just give me a second. Hold on. No, no problem. All right. I'm back. I'm back. Okay. Now, what was you saying? I heard you say it's a, um, a muscle memory thing, and then that was it. I didn't hear anything else. Oh, no, it, it, it's just a matter of, like you said, just stretching out, trying to do it okay. and, and more time with it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, that's, that's yeah, it's just, yeah. That, that's all I can think. I, like I said, I wish I, I wish I could give you like that, you know, that aha answer, but <laughs> not today. <laughs> not today. That's all right. All right. Not today. <laughs> so how did it um, go Saturday night? I didn't even catch the replay yet. What'd you say? How did it go Saturday? I didn't even. Oh, catch the um, oh Saturday was wonderful, actually. Um, what was Saturday? It yeah. was. Um, what was the topic? Hey, Jewel, you still in there? I can't remember. Hold yeah, so on the female. First challenge of Florida. You might remember. What was it? What was the topic for Saturday? The theme, I should say. Um. Oh, ladies night. It was ladies night Saturday. Oh yeah, that was yeah. We had a we played a lot of lot of great songs, man. A lot of um stuff and most you know, most of the stuff was songs that you know we've done already. Um man, even Jewel down there, I played one song she did. It was mostly <laughs> to be honest with you, if you're familiar with uh Nisha and Kim the night was filled with mostly songs that they sung because it was ladies night and they usually do the bulk of the singing when it's female 
parts most of the time. Okay. But we had a uh, we had a couple of songs about Brandy. If you're familiar with who Brandy is, or well, not the singer Brandy, no, no, as in Norwood, but Brandy on my panel. She yes. did like two or three songs. Yeah. Um, we had Jewel on one, Kim on like fifty, Nisha on fifty. Uh, <laughs> uh, D had a friend of hers from that who's not on the panel, but is a friend of hers. She sang uh, a couple of. It was like two of her songs. So um, I'm trying to think. Then, then we actually had some of the guys like um, EO, the Electronic Orchestra. He sung. Even though you know he sung the song himself, and Mitch, if you're familiar with Mitch Soul, oh. he sung a couple. Yeah, he he sung a couple of his songs too, like that he did. So it was it was cool. I I really enjoyed it. It's like it. I, it's funny. It's like I forget like half the stuff that we do sometimes, and it's like oh wow, it was it's yeah. kind of cool just you know reminiscing, going back and uh, checking that of, stuff a out. So a lot of topics. You guys got to do more of the verses. I would love to see your well the ver well the verse was yeah. just for July yeah no because <laughs> what we did because what we did yeah the 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 way that versus thing came about was okay so we wanted we needed to take a break from having to make so many songs because we've been doing it forever so we wanted to take a break of being feeling forced almost to always make a new track always make a new track so we took. That's why we said, okay, so July and August, we're going to just go back and open up the vault and we'll just focus on, you know, now if you want to do a new song, that's cool. Y'all can, you can present it, but, you know, we're just going to focus um, on the old stuff. So I said, so that's when I came up with the idea, said, well, why not take some of the old stuff that we did by this artist? And this artist and pin them against each other and see what happens. So that's what I was doing in July. But <laughs> but this is August. This yeah, this Saturday is the last time that we're going to be focusing mostly on old stuff. So we already have topics again, or should I say themes? Like September is already mapped out. Like what we're going to do. Like the first uh, Saturday in September, I think is classic rock or some type of rock music you know because we're trying to do stuff that we don't usually do on the channel you know sure. everything is always urban 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 mostly so we like we're going to do hold up look it up on my phone but i think it's like classic rock or is, is something let me get the right terminology why would my sister call me while i'm on live stream she don't never call me any other time um hold on Hold on for one second. No, on one second. Let's talk to everybody. Hello, everybody. No, I, um, definitely some great uh, tutorials he has out here on, on his channel. I mean, there are so many, as he puts it, classic R&B songs and some classic love songs. And uh, what you ought to do is just pin together yourself a little playlist of some of his uh some of your favorite songs that he's uh done tutorials on and uh go through those and and, and learn them because i mean i'm i'm currently i've got a little playlist uh that jazz has put okay. together and I'm, I'm working on earth wind and fire and isley brothers songs right now since they had you, 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 you trying you trying you trying to be smooth okay I'm just trying saying, to be smooth with it. Oh man, I'm just getting ready for my YouTube channel, so I just sit in the pilot seat for a second. Oh, 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 oh you, you're gonna steal from my channel and then make your YouTube oh, channel from oh. and you're gonna steal the music from me. Oh, I, I see how you roll. I'm, no, no, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you, man. I'm just messing with you. Man. I really want to do a little more in, in terms of uh production, just showing some, some different production, how to do some things. You know, you did a video about a month or so ago, um, where you were showing uh, just how to record in, in uh, Studio, uh, Studio One. One. Yeah, uh, Dee had asked nice. me about I, that. I just got a copy, a free copy of it, and it's pretty nice. I've opened it up and just kind of looked at it a little bit. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I said, you know what? There's a there's probably a population that would like to know how to you know, navigate it, so. Oh, yeah. 
And that was very, when I say basic, that was beyond basic. They, that was just like, like I, I didn't touch on like nearly anything. <laughs> but that was, you know, I just like the D had asked, was having issues getting it to recognize her VST instruments and something else. And so that's why that, that's why I focused that video like that. I said, well, I said, well, instead of just doing a personal video to you, I'm like, let me just put it on YouTube. And, uh, and that's where that video came from. But I actually have one on Cubase as well, but yeah. this was, I'm, I'm, I'm using Cubase 11 right now, okay. but, uh, at the time when I made the video, I was on Cubase 10. So I have a video out on Cubase 10.5. And I also have a video on Reason. It's either Reason 10 or Reason 11. I'm using Reason 11 right now. But the, these these videos are like a year old. So they, they might be version 10. So, you know, I, I dibble and dabble in those little videos a little bit with uh, production. But... Um, they don't really seem to get a whole bunch of views, so I'm like, okay, people just want to learn how to play songs for me. That's all they're interested in. They like, they like for you, man. Just teach us how to play the song, man. We'll go to somebody else. Uh, <laughs> oh. All right, fresh sounds flow. Let me hear this question up because he asked this a minute ago. He said, "How do you come with melodies once you come with your chord progression?" Fresh sounds. Let me ask you this: Are are you talking about if you're creating your own song feel free to answer this question so i know how to approach it better are you talking about when you're arranging and creating your own music or are you talking about the melody like a song that's already out there how do you come figure out the melody because that's either learn learning how to read sheet music or using your ear <laughs> listening to the song and using your ear i'm assuming you're talking about your original composition but um yeah just let me know if that's what you um if that's what you were asking thank you jewel for letting me know she's right uh it was called so, so the first week in september is soft rock the second week is going to be disco the third week is going to be pop and i put whatever that means to you because everybody got their own definition of what pop music is so i'm like we're not fighting just whatever it means to you, that's what you're doing. And then we'll have open mic again. So, yeah, September is uh is definitely packed. But you got this Saturday, man. You're not doing Michael? Oh, we did Michael June 25th, man. We do Michael every June 25th. We just had him. We just did a Michael. Okay. Oh, yeah. I know his birthday is the 29th, but we all, but we literally just had a stream, a Michael Jackson stream on June 25th. Okay. Literally, yeah, we had, it, and that was on a Friday night actually, because I um for the last I think this is like the third year in a row, on June twenty fifth. I don't care what day of the week it falls on, June twenty fifth. I always do a MJ stream because instead of being sad and you know you know we want want to just think of the good times. You know we want to just That's get so some music and all that. So we just celebrate, you know, because you know that was a a sad day in music and you know. So we try to, you know, take the sadness away and just remember the music, you know. All right. On a so, sad note, then where, where were you when you heard the news that he had passed? I, it, it's funny. Um, practice and develop. Hey, William Jackson, I'll come to your question in a second. Um, um, I was living for six months of my life. I actually lived in Pennsylvania. It's a small little uh, city called Sunbury, Pennsylvania, S-U-N-B-U-R-Y, since central Pennsylvania, and I lived there. And I had just moved there early June, as a matter of fact. It was early June. And so I just, I was like, I literally just woke up, and um, I was going into full-time ministry there. I was a part of full-time ministry, and I just kind of woke up, and it was just like Michael Jackson dead and like huh <laughs> like what yeah. Michael, you, it was just crazy it was just like it was a and the thing about it is that before the first death that i heard was farrah fawcett and yeah. i knew who she was because i watched um charlie's angels when i was young or whatever so i knew who she was so i remember like oh wow farrah fawcett yeah that's the lady from charlie's angels and then so and um but then all of a sudden it said michael jackson i was like wait a minute I thought they said it was fair. Fault. 
That day, I remember I was at work and I heard about Farrah Fawcett early in the morning. It must have right. been around nine o'clock. And then around noon or one, I heard that Michael was in the hospital. I'm like, in the hospital? Mm -hmm. Right. And then somebody came maybe not that long after and said he was gone. And I was like, somebody's playing, man. Y'all get I out. know. Until until Jermaine Jackson stepped out there and announced it, I was like, I, I ain't want to hear it. It was like, I was like, nah, he, he's going to be all right. But then when... um. Yeah, when Jermaine came out and made that announcement, that official announcement, man, I was done. I was like, I was done, man. I, I, I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I, I'm like, Michael, it's like this dude, like I, I was a little kid and I remember having, I mean, it was a fake glove, but I remember putting the hat, I guess my mother got some kind of little sparkly glove and the gl sunglasses that kind of looked like the ones he wore during the Thriller era. Or whatever, you know, and I'm just like, yo, I used to imitate what you mean he's dead. Like that was just I I yeah, that was that that was a very very trying day, you know. Yeah. Very trying. I mean, I, he he really influenced me as a, a musician. And um yeah, that was that was crazy. That was crazy. Looking at your comments, <clears throat> Fresh <clears throat> Sounds Florida said when creating your own music. So he answered your question. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, let me um come to William Jackson's question real quick. What's the best way to practice and develop? William, uh, what you want to do is you want to get your foundation. You want to learn your foundational things first. You really want to learn scales as boring as it is and i even see videos and ads that pop up on youtube and instagram sometimes be like oh you know tired of learning scales and that boring stuff uh, i have a way to man forget all that i'm telling you if you, the best way to develop is to learn the foundation and if you want to be able to comfortably be able to play and all your keys, you need to get your fingers used, used to playing in every key. And one and one way of doing that is being able to play your scales in every key. Every key. I mean, you, and right now I'm just doing five finger scales, but I'm just saying you need to get your fingers used. And first of all, you got to get your fingers used to moving. You want to get them used to moving on the piano. And you want to get that muscle memory. You want your fingers to get used. Oh, if you're in the key of E flat, your fingers should feel like this. It's all muscle memory. So I would say learn those scales. Um, start with the major scales. The major scales, in my opinion, are the main ones that you really need to learn. There are humongous advantages of learning all the other scales that there, that are out there. But I would say that if you don't want to learn anything else, at least learn those major scales in all 12 keys. So that would be the first thing. And then to learn how to take those scales and play the chords, the basic chords in all of them. So, all right, so once you learn C scale, everybody should know how to play the C scale, right? It's all white keys, C to C, right? And then I would say start learning to play the C major chord and the minor C minor chord, the C major seven and all that. I actually talked about how to build those chords just last week on this live stream. So if you're not familiar with how to do that, I do have a video that I recorded maybe a year or two ago that talks about it. If you go to my playlist on my channel, you'll see a playlist that's called Piano Theory or something like that. It's either called Music Theory, Piano Theory. And I have videos that will help you, teach you how to build chords and your scales. And if you look at last week's Any Questions, episode three, I spent like an hour. <laughs> I spent like an hour going through it. So that that's where <clears> I would <throat> start. And then... And then every now and then, go ahead on and just learn how to play a song just for the fun of it. That's what my channel is for. Go through my channel, pick a song that you like and say, you know what? Let me just learn how to play that. There's nothing wrong with just, you know, watching my, you know, watching me, you know, and learning how to play by watching because you can learn about song structure 
by learning how to play other people's songs. So yeah, you can incorporate that too, but don't just say, I'm just going to come to House of Jazz channel when I want to learn a song and then that's it. Like, no, no, no. no. Learn learn the, the foundations too and yes. go ahead on. It's always fun to learn a song that you always wanted to play. Absolutely. Do that. Incorporate that, but don't let that be the only thing that you do. That's yeah. my suggestion. What's going on, Mitch? Hey, Jazz. How you doing? <laughs> man, I'm trying to be like you when I grow up, man. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying, man. Struggling. <laughs> <laughs> Joshua Patterson asked if I could play Mr. Rogers' theme song again. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoa. I, I don't even know if I have. Let me see if I have to court you. I literally only played that song just when we did theme songs. Um, mm -hmm. When we did, th well, well, it was last year sometime, and we actually said we spent the whole evening doing theme songs. I, I, I'll see if I can, um, if I do, if if I find it, I guarantee you, I won't play it perfectly. So don't look for it to be perfect. All right, but if I can find my chord sheet, um, uh, yeah, I, I'll see. I'll see what I can do. What's going on, Kasai? I see you over there. Um, and Mitch already said hi to you, so okay. Yes, he uh, did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when you're creating your own music. Right, okay. Um, Fresh Sounds, Florida. Um, huh. <sighs> Melodies, a lot of, I, I mean, I would say, it actually goes into the other question I just answered. I would say, it really helps to know your scales because when you're trying to create a melody, even though a melody can go outside of the scale, it can all, you know, you can always grab notes and grab accidental notes or whatever. You can always do that. But usually if you're creating your own song and you're creating it in the key of E flat, then at least you kind of already know what notes you need to work around. Like if you're in the key of E flat, you already know, hey, well, the scale is. So, you know, you need when you're working on your melody, you kind of want to. Um... I hit one wrong note. Sorry about that. I hit a natural by accident, but you kind of want to. Um... You can kind of start with the scale, and then once you well, once you get your once you're comfortable in that key, once you you get your scale, then you just kind of just fool around. You can hum something, because when you're creating a melody, this is more of a um, creative process. It's not really a robotic thing that I can tell you, because you're being created at this point. It's what you hear. So if you know, you get yourself some chords and be like. Now, so, so let's say you got some chords, and then now you have to dig into your creative mind and be like, okay, there you go. You can do something. You say, okay, so there we go. And then you go to your next one. Oh, I forgot what the next chord was that I did. I forgot. Uh, but. <laughs> Like I said, I really don't have a real answer. It's like you, that's when you just got to reach into your creative juices and you kind of just you got to kind of hum something. And once you hum it, you're going to have to use your ear to try to find it. I'm going to let Mitch take a shot at that question, too, because I know Mitch creates his own music all the time and he does <laughs> piano solos all the time. As a matter of fact, Mitch has a project coming out. Uh, in a couple of weeks too. We'll let them talk about that in a second. But mm -hmm. how would you answer that question, Mitch? When you're creating your own music. Yeah, with, uh, like, with, it's, when it's your own music. Yeah. Well, with my own music, it's like um, when I do it, I what I do, 
I use the two the two five one system, mm -hmm. and that's that's where I um I started creating different um cards because it's like a it's like a craft the whatever you whatever um chord you can come up with or whatever it is or combination or whatever it is you can come up with you can it's like you created as your own you know so like whatever chord whatever chord you even if it's accidentals you you creating that as your own and what i how i um do my own music is whatever whatever comes to mind so when i turn on my board i just put my hand to the keys and whatever chord i you know that i feel that sounds sweet or sound good to me and i just continue just continue with that and then i um <clears throat> What I do also is like um, I will have like a before the hooks, before the verses or whatever it is, you know, pre-chorus or whatever. I pre I, right. And then I create all of that. And then when it comes to the bridge part, I just kind of make a combination of whatever course I can mix with that um, to, to fit into the song and to make it sweeter. And that's how I do. That's how I actually um, create my own music and everything. Create my chords. Um, the only thing I'm not really good at is um, like <laughs> songwriting. Mm -hmm. So you're not a lyricist. I, is that I'm not. Be, about? I'm not really like a lyricist, but you know, <laughs> I just more of an instrumentalist than a um, lyricist. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Did you want to? Uh, say anything sir james no I, I, his answer was a good answer when he was he was talking about the, the two he said the 215 251 251 okay see that go to so it's a combination of both your answers so the uh -huh. truth of jazz is uh if you know you're doing 251 hey mm -hmm. you know those skills for those chords that represent one hey, you're gonna have yeah. melody mm -hmm. options. Um, right. As a songwriter, I know mm -hmm. we were talking about the bridge. Which some of the things I think about sometimes is I was taught to try to find a way to contrast your bridge with what's maybe going on with your in your verses. So if your verses had real short, quick, stellato type, uh, right. Melodies, your bridge, you may want to have more long legato, like mm -hmm. the, the kind right. of, for those of you yeah. who don't know, he's using music dynamic terms like staccato is when you <laughs> kind of like chop like that, that. That could be staccato, where legato would be yes. See, see, that's legato, staccato would be staccato is like chopping. staccato is chopped up it's real choppy chop, chop, just, yeah, just chop, think chop. of the word choppy and for legato think of the word smooth <laughs> just just for those that might be listening i just want to make sure they understood those two terms those are just musical dynamic terms but go ahead right. uh, james uh -huh. no you're right but I, I go back to your original statement learn the fundamentals because i mean mm -hmm. I just learned those terms maybe two years ago. I knew what they were when I heard them, but you know, like you said, we use the layman's term. Oh, give me something just choppy, just kind of short, and then give me something legato. I, I learned those terms later. So if you want to avoid <laughs> some learning curve issues, mm -hmm. learn the fundamental stuff on Friday. Yes, there's, yes. Like you said, there's no there's no sacrifice for knowing the fundamentals. Then when you want to do the whole thing, once you know what rules are. You can know, mm -hmm. you can bend them or go outside of the box and create your own thing a little bit. But at least, mm -hmm. yeah, stuff. right, yeah, you go outside of, yeah, 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 you have to, yeah. when it comes to yeah, creating, yeah, you have to, right. to like positions. Like we were just talking, he knew what I was talking about. So uh -huh. if you're in a studio or a songwriting session, you want to be able to communicate with other folk. And if they use this terminology, but you don't know it, mm -hmm. you're going to feel a little stupid. Yeah. <laughs> nah. But, but, <laughs> But the part, James, you said, and you're correct. Yeah, you, you can go outside the box. You don't have to stick with 
you know, because some at times it, it'll get too boring. So you can always go outside the box. Yeah. You know, we yeah. encourage you to go outside the box, but yeah. it's still, but before you go outside the box, you need to have right. a foundation. Uh, yeah, That's all we're saying. Right. Yes. Have and a foundation, you, know you it, like in the box. then go out the box. <laughs> then, right. Then you go out the box. Right. But no, right. and I tell you, um, the one thing I think sometimes we, we take for, for granted in this that um, mm -hmm. biblical here, so watch out. Um, since God is the ultimate creator and we're mm -hmm. made in his image, it's interesting that you read in scripture how he spoke things into existence. And I think as musicians, that's what we do. We take a blank canvas, whether you're a painter or an artist of any kind, you take nothing and create something and it touches somebody, that's divine. That's just, uh, yeah. that's just deep to me. Absolutely. And like I said, it, it's that universal language. Even little babies in other countries who don't know our culture or even speak English can relate to beats. They can hear Drake or somebody and, and bop to the beat. How do, you, how do they know that? It's, it's in us. We just are divine like that. My baby sister said, preach, preacher. <laughs> <laughs> That's something I'll be saying to two people too. When they, when they be t telling the truth, I'll be like, preach, preacher. <laughs> but now you're telling the truth right there, sir. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, you're definitely telling the truth right it's there. Because I know all these people, but they don't know me from that or that. They don't. I, I used to be in the cut and just comment here and there when I did come on. But it's like your cousin James just kind of stole all my thunder. I said, oh, man, I can't come out here with James. Why, why you say he stole your thunder? He, he came, it's like he's the bigger personality, James. I'm the late, oh, quiet. It's, it's, don't, don't worry about that. We have all kinds of personalities on here. I mean, come on now. I, yeah, yeah. I, I, you, you, you've been watching for a while. Yes, this sir. might be your own, you're just coming on the panel, but I do remember you. You, you know how we are. We got we got the uh, the young lady that just can't go one live stream without calling me old fifty times. <laughs> you got her personality, <laughs> love her to death though. But uh, oh, <laughs> then, then then you got D that probably that got to call me big head or something at least oh. once or twice a, a live stream or peanut head or something. Mm -hmm. You know right. we got all kinds of personalities. So it, it's yeah. a, that, oh, matter of fact that go came right there. As soon as I said her name. <laughs> As soon as I said, as soon as I said her name, bam, there she go. You old. See what I'm talking about? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, See, man. You know, so, so yeah, we, we always got, you know, we always going to have different personalities now. <laughs> I, I love Sam because she got all those great Jackson stories. Oh, yeah. She's the, uh, yeah, she's definitely the the historian for the Jacksons, I think. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know if she's the official historian, but she's definitely a historian. Them. No doubt about that. No doubt. She like logged in right on time. <laughs> she must have. She must have felt her name was about to come out of my mouth. She was like, oh, I, I, no. I, I can tell her name about to come out. So let me just come on with it. Come on with it, uh, ladies. Anyone out there? If you're just joining us. This is just we're just hanging out like there's no real theme or anything. Um, I initially do this for people that might have questions that they always wanted to ask about music. But again, we can just hang out and just chat, too. It's no problem. But if you have any questions and you want to join me on here, uh, I just put a link in the chat room just now. Just click that link. It's real easy. Or you can ask your question over there in the chat box. That's fine. And if I can help you, I can. And if I can't help you, I'll say, right, Mitch, and let him take over. And, right. if, he, <laughs> and if he can't help you, I'll say, right, James, and then I'll let James take over. And if he can't help you, we'll say, we'll just say, nope, can't help you. And we'll send you on your merry way. You're on your own. <laughs> on my own. <laughs> I just saw a comedian on TikTok that was, that can actually, I don't even know his name, but I, I liked it so I could find it. But he really had a nice voice and he was really imitating both of them because he was talking about how no one can understand Michael McDonald. <laughs> but then he was able to Im imitate um, 
Patty LaBelle. Uh, Patty LaBelle very well. Like he was hitting those high notes. Like, oh, okay. Jamie Foxx got a little competition when it comes to singing uh, comedians. I just don't know the guy's name, but I. But <laughs> that was like literally just yesterday. I just heard that song. <laughs> My man was singing that song, but um, yeah. Um, so Mitch, go ahead on and talk about your project for those of you who are familiar with uh, Mitch's music, his production uh, style, and his original music. He is about to release a project soon, so I'm mm-hmm. gonna let him talk about it for a second. Okay, so the <clears throat> the project that's that will be released on September 7th, the name of the project is called In Your Presence. And it's according to Psalms 1611 that says, um, in your presence, there's fullness of joy. And at your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. And it's 10 tracks. Um, it's basically um, Neo Soul or... Actually, smooth jazz and neo soul music. So, um, basically, when I release it, um, it'll be on Spotify, iTunes, the thing that jazz hates. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> Do not go to Apple. Go anywhere except for Apple. I don't care. Go, go, go to oranges. Go to strawberries, but don't go to Apple. Okay, don't okay. go there. <laughs> okay, let me, let me say it this way. Okay, it's gonna be on Macintosh. Spotify. The um the fruit tunes. I, you <laughs> yeah, the fruity. I mean. Yeah, the <laughs> fruity tunes. There you go. <laughs> fruity loops, fruity tunes. Yeah, there you go. There yeah. you go. The fruity um, tunes. Yeah, D, yeah, Deezer, TikTok, and about probably thirty. 30 other um uh music um services anywhere where music can anywhere, be streamed anywhere, basically so it, <laughs> um yeah internationally also as well oh he's gonna be in china and russia y'all so go yeah. check him out y'all over there uk yeah. he'll be there yeah, yeah. canada I mean, yeah. Spain, uh, puerto rico yeah, spain france texas well that's the united states um yeah. mexico <laughs> mexico there you go Ex- Except for Greenland and Antarctica. Let me stop. Okay, Antarctica. You, you just don't count. Y'all just don't nah. count. Sorry. Y'all just don't yeah. count. Yeah. It'll be a cold, cold world. <laughs> it, it's so cold. instrumental or is he going to have like some uh, feature? Oh, oh, yes. They're going to be all instrumental music. But um, I'm hoping in the, fu- by the, in the future that Whatever song I do, I get a um, vocalist. But um, I have to probably would team up with a songwriter, and then I would have to actually find the vocalist that I can actually um, do a track. Okay. You guys have well, some- well you got you. Yeah, you know some vocalists already, man. That probably yeah, will help you out de- now. Come on de- now. Defi- definitely, <laughs> yeah. Just just, just from here. <laughs> right, definitely. <laughs> no doubt, no definitely. doubt. Okay, yes. Okay, we got... Yeah, yeah. You know, instrumental yeah. tracks are really good to uh, study by. I, I work at a college, and so I got students all the time that are looking for, you know, you can go on YouTube and find those playlists that go for like two hours and people are playing. Uh-huh. They're great to right. study by. So if you guys want to help a brother out, hook Mitch up and uh, get his piece and study by it if you're in school or mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. just, you know, when you need that that chill out, mellow, date night kind of vibe, I'm sure. Uh-oh, you know. uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> I'm sure you uh-oh. Know. <laughs> Pour the wine. Light the fire, <laughs> yeah. Oh, never mind. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, Daryl, <laughs> Daryl Hardis. I uh, just wanted to say I uh, wanted you to know I appreciate what you do as it is therapy for me. <laughs> Wonderful, uh, Daryl. I appreciate you sharing that. Um, are you a, a keyboard player yourself, or do you just enjoy? I know uh, there's been people who told me. Well, no, they just look at my videos because they just actually just like watching it, but they don't really play. Do you actually play, uh, Duro, or like, like where are you with your on your musical journey if you have one? But yeah, I'm definitely support Mitch, y'all. So, um, your name, your artist name will simply be Mitch Soul, correct? Right. Is is it an underscore on it or no? 
Oh no, it's the full okay. um the full name. It's okay. <laughs> so Mitch Soul, the way you see it spelled without the underscore right now. Mm-hmm. And um it releases September seventh, correct? Right, correct. Okay, so 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 go ahead on and look for it September seventh, y'all. Mm-hmm. Put some money in that man's pocket, y'all. Come on, mm-hmm. man. You know, you know, give him a couple of pennies. You know, give him a couple of Abraham Lincoln's and George Washington's. I'm talking about the 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 coins, not the paper. Nah, now nah, give him the paper. Now, nah, never mind. Give him the paper <laughs> on iHeartRadio and Pandora as well. It's gonna be on there as okay. well. Okay, that's what's up. So, so you don't even you can use the free services to listen to it too. Mm-hmm. So that's what's up. Uh, so Daryl says I'm still that's- learning. And that's where I the royalties. Can't. I'm sorry. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And that's where the royalties will come right in too. <laughs> oh, okay. Look, and see, see, he's talking money now. See, he talk. Yeah, see, that's where his royalty. You know, <laughs> you, know you know, he ain't just putting this out there just for nothing. <laughs> you, know, you know, you know, you know, you know, he he want a little little shum shum for his. You know, you know, you know, you know, yeah. you, you, you know, give him a couple a couple dollars. You know what I'm saying? We gotta support, we gotta support our people. You know, absolutely. Yeah, because we'll buy other stuff. So I know, right? Absolutely. Just pass on that uh, number nine combo at McDonald's. And, <laughs> and <laughs> hold on, wait a minute. Hey, hey, you can't pass right. on number nine. I don't even know what number nine is. It is. To... <laughs> uh, saying, pass on that number nine with the sprite. Nah, nah, nah. You can pass on number ten, but you can't pass number nine. You, you about uh-uh. to get number nine. Yeah, you, you yeah you might have to get the number nine. The dollar, <laughs> the dollar menu. What's up, Miss Brandy? See, what Brandy's in there? Oh, Brand? Yeah. Oh, this she going there? Okay. Hey, what's going Hello. on, Miss Brandy? I just was talking about you. Hey. Uh, it was something good, so don't worry about it. You can scroll back. I was just saying that you was a singer on Saturday. Mm-hmm. One of our singers. See, I was I was nice. Usually I talk talk junk about you, but I was nice. Yeah, um, we were Darryl, very nice to you. Yeah, I was very nice for once. Don't get used to it. <laughs> uh, Daryl says he can tap out a few songs. That's what's up. Okay, well, definitely glad that the channel is helping you to develop, and that's wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. You, you um, know, the more you learn some of your tutorials, after a while, yeah. that uh-huh. must memory on in oh, terms yeah. of how you play certain chords. It yeah. does again, yeah, man. I'm like, mm-hmm. absolutely. 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 Um, I can't. Yeah. It's like when I was learning how to play, um, learn, teach them. And I really had to teach myself the piano, uh, not music theory. I actually was trained in music theory. I had that in school, high school and college. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, but when I was taking that theory that I was learning and applying it to the piano myself, once I just started playing, learning chords, it's it's like just... I just it's, you start going to it, you don't even think twice about it. It's real easy, you know. It's real simple. So, um, definitely, yeah. So, and that's why I said for the person that asked the question, how should they practice? How should you know whatever? And I said, learn those foundations, learn the foundation first, because what you want to do. I was talking about that just about half hour ago. You want to get that muscle memory. You want your fingers to be. You first of all, you want to learn how to move up and down the piano. You want to mm-hmm. you want to get that muscle memory, and then I said practice playing the chords and building your chords because that muscle memory is it's like that's what a lot. I promise you, I promise you, when I'm playing, it's 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 the muscle memory that really makes me be able to play these songs, especially when I get chord sheet. Like if I make a chord sheet, okay, I, I do a tutorial. Matter of fact, before I did this live stream, I did I did a, a Nita Baker tutorial. It should be out tomorrow, y'all. Um, I finished recording it too. Um, what is it called? Fairy Tales. Fairy Tales by Anita Baker. I just just did it. I finished recording it. Nice. It's even uploaded on YouTube, but I'm not going to release it till tomorrow. But um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but when I um, it's like okay. So I I had to learn that song one chord at a time. I had to loop it, and you know, because it's no, I couldn't find any sheet music. So, but once I go through the entire song and I'm like, okay, I got all the chords. So now I say, okay, now it's time to actually play this and learn how to play this song. And then I'm looking at the chord sheet and I'm just like, oh yeah, okay, I know that. It's like my fingers just know where to go. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, what, okay. 
I got you. Okay, right. It's it's like it's all muscle memory, man. It's yeah. like so if you so if you can remember those chords and you'll start memorizing the chords, the more you play them, the more you will memorize them. And then it's it's like yo, it's it's it's. I like I know, it. I, I, I like oh, it though, what you're talking about in terms of learning your your foundations, but to keep mm -hmm. you going, you said something earlier too. That's key. Then learn a song that you want to know how to play. And that gives you that joy. You'll find yourself playing and practicing a lot longer than you may have anticipated. Uh, Mitch, what was one of the first songs you ever learned how to play? The first song that I ever learned to play? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> the very first song that I ever learned to play was, um, well, it was at Christian Heritage Church where I used to go, and it was called, it was called Oh, Magnify the Lord. Oh, <laughs> magnify the Lord. Yeah. He is worthy. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, hold, up, hold, up, yeah. hold on. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I was about to go to church. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead Mitch. Finish your story. Finish your story. Yeah. So, um. You're going to give us the benediction and be going to take a collection. Because <laughs> Cause that's when I actually I thought, that's when I started playing the piano from 1990. So it's been 31 years that I've been playing the, the, um, and, the and, piano. And Kim calls me old. Wow. <laughs> it's been, yeah, it's been 31 years. Um, because I first I started by playing my ear and everything, and as I progressed and learned accidentals. But then, and then years later is when I learned about the um, the two five one system, and I, um, I studied that literally. <laughs> it's like it's like yeah. I had to study that for for hours upon hours, day after day. I had to, to learn that and practice it, and then. But um, I also, you know. Because my mom always teach me, yo, taught me, you got to learn your scales. You got to learn your scales. <laughs> so I had to, yeah, I had to learn all of that. And then. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. And then some, <laughs> then I had to, um, and then others were trying to get me to read, you know, oh, you should read sheet music and everything. But <laughs> that, I mean, it was a little complicated at first, but then I got. I sat, actually sat down with I actually sat down with a music teacher okay. and he showed me the ropes, showed me everything I need to know about the scales and everything, the wow. clefs and the, the scales. Wow. And yeah, I'm old school lazy. I learned by ear. Um, and and this guy that taught me, he's he's actually classically trained. He he okay. goes all over the world touring with other um bands and stuff and he's classically trained and, wow. and the first I, first time I saw this gentleman I was like wow so I, I actually learned from him this um the staffs the scales and everything so now I know how actually how to read music where to put my notes and everything on the lines and stuff like that that's what's up that's what's up yeah, like I said, um, I had music theory in high school and college, so that really that that's where I was able to get that knowledge. So, see, I, I learned, I just learned by ear. Like, I played in a band, and they would just mm -hmm. write on an index card the chords. So you had to learn <laughs> the chords, and so I would right. just, yeah, you know, chord what's the chords. What's the chords? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 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 what's the chords? <laughs> I'm chord, but I, I started on guitar. I didn't actually. Yeah. But I just bought a keyboard a couple of years ago, and I fell in love with it because it's like you can just do so many more different kind of voices with yeah. the piano. Yeah. You know? yeah, I try. I tried guitar. I wow. <laughs> I barely can play this bass back here, and but a regular guitar, I can't even play a chord. Yeah. I've tried before. Yeah. I've never successfully played one chord on a yeah. guitar before. I I don't understand how y'all do that. It's mm -hmm. like, well, we'll put your finger here, finger here, right here, and then strum, and then I'll do it, and I'm like, 
to go to New Orleans. Uh, I can't, I, 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 yeah, that's a different kind of stretch. Yeah, yeah, but, I, I, yeah, I, I but you, you have to have, man. yeah, you have to have the strength in here. Well, I, I got the strength bend. right here. I got the strength right here. But you, you know what I'm saying? But it's Cause like because I, <laughs> I have a I have a friend of mine that actually plays the bass, and mm-hmm. we we we've been buddies for 31 years, and we was at, I was you old, in, man. in fact. In fact, I was, we we was in the same band in the church, because that's where I met him. And then, mm. and I'm 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 his daughter's godfather anyway. So you know, oh, he's so the godfather. Oh, watch <laughs> out, y'all. Yeah, I'm his first child's god of godfather. Mm. So I have a goddaughter from him. Jazz, uh, Daryl says he he found your channel by looking for some songs by commission. I didn't even know you had a commission tutorial. Oh uh, yeah, man, I got some commission yeah. up on here. Um, yeah, Daryl, I, I see you said you was looking for those two songs. Ordinary just won't do. I just did that one recently, really recently. But Secret Place nice. probably was like a, a year ago, maybe. But yeah, I, I have that. You know, my favorite commission song that it, it's, I'm going to use this word too, that someone commissioned me to make a tutorial for. <laughs> I, I was so happy when that commission came in was uh, Fred Hammond's. Well, it's commission, it. but it's, it's a Fred Hammond song. Um, was, it, was it running back to you? Yeah, running back to you. Man, when that commission, when that came in and someone, I said, hold up, somebody's going to pay me to learn my favorite commission song? What? <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see what Kim just uh, typed in there. Don't don't. Hey y'all y'all don't don't y'all y'all see this y'all 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 see this uh, this this lovely beautiful young lady down here. Ignore anything she ever types. Okay, don't just don't 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 pay her any mind. Okay, all right. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah I, yeah I have that. I know I have um, running back to you as well. I can't think if I have any other commission songs, but yeah, I got, yeah, got a couple of them, you know, as people, you know, request them, and, yeah, you know, and, 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 and put up the money, you know, they they, wow. they put up the money, you know. I got to go through the archives. I didn't know that was. Oh, yeah. Man. Hey, it's it's a lot. It's a lot of songs. <laughs> trust me. I, I honestly don't remember all of them. And um, yeah, it, it's a lot. It's a lot. Aiden, what's up, man? How you doing? I see he came in here and saying what's up, people. So we just saying what's up to you. Um, for those of you that's just coming in, if you simply have a music-related question that you just always wanted to ask me or just ask somebody that knows a little bit about music, now's your time to do it. Um, you can join me. Uh, well, <laughs> you can join me either on the panel by clicking the link that I literally just put in the um, chat or, or chat box, or you can just ask your question from the chat box. So if you have any music theory questions, maybe something about the number system, what's the best way to learn major scales and how do you build chords? What's the, yeah, I said, what's the number system? You know, this question is, you know, general questions like that. If any of us on here can help you, hey, we're here, you know what I'm saying? Not even charging you this time. What do you? I have something to share. So when I, when I said to um, like building your own chords and stuff and everything, uh-huh. um, when I did, when I recorded Visions by Stevie Wonder, mm-hmm. you had a vision, right? <laughs> no, I. <laughs> there was a lot of uh nines and thirteens and elevens that you had to figure out because and I had to st- actually stretch my hand all over the board to literally get to the get to the notes because you got like you had like I think F9 suspended something like that and, and then this, it, there was something that said um A flat thirteen because mm-hmm. because Stevie, yeah, I know he's yeah, a genius. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Stevie's going to use all those chords. He's, yeah, no he's a genius, but you he had all of these um elevens and mm-hmm. nines and thirteens. Yeah, the stuff that sound good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all that stuff that make the song sound real good. You're right, you're right. 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 <laughs> yeah, 
I because and it took you know it took me six months to learn that song. Oh wow! What song was it, it again? Visions. Visions. Okay, right. I forgot. Yeah, I said that joke about vision. Right. Yeah. Hmm. So you didn't have sheet music for that one? Um, I you know I um, I was searching throughout Google and everything to find it, and I actually did find it. And then when I saw the notes to the song and everything, it took me time to actually figure out every note for every gotcha. for every chord. Got you. I got and then you. I had to then I had to go over it for six months before I actually recorded it. I was like that with on bended knee, so I got you. Because on bended knee was like, by Boys and Men was like the first song that the r- first real 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 song that I wanted to learn how to play on the piano. And I got the sheet music for Christmas in 94. Mm-hmm. And I was like, but I was new to the piano. So I literally was like, every good boy does fine. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, all cows eat gra- okay, grass. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, literally, I'm literally like, okay. Oh, F A C. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, and D. Oh, 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 I got it. Yeah, that sounds like it. Yeah, that sounds like the first chord. Yeah. Okay, next chord. Uh, <laughs> right. And mind you, that song is in three different keys. So by the time you finish mm. it, you start in E flat, but you end in F major. So when you mm-hmm. said take six months, trust me, I get you. <laughs> I got you, man. I feel you on that, man. <laughs> um, Aiden said or asked, um, do you think musical scales keep you in a box or give structure we kind of talked about this a little teeny bit and i'm going Mm -hmm. to say yes it will keep you in a box if you let it (laughs) yes musicals it will keep you in the box if you let it but like not too long ago we just said to use it just as a foundation use it you know to give structure but once you learn that foundation, then go outside of the box. So, yes, um, it, a prime example is like now it's funny because Mitch said that he was taught by someone that's classically trained. But a lot of times if you uh, ever do some type of music or ever have to w- work with someone, uh, let's say the person is a classically trained piano player. This is not all classically trained piano players because there are some that are classically trained piano players that can play every style, every genre, and will put you to shame, make you never want to touch a piano again. But there is others in, in where um, it's like if it's not on the sheet music, it's like they can't play it. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what? You, well, you know, I'm like, well, no, feel free to, you know, do a, you can do a little something. Well, well it's not written in, it's not written in. I'm like, it's music, it's your interpretation. Go ahead. And it's like, you don't, so that's why I said, if you allow it, to, if you allow it, yes, it will keep you in a box, but do not uh, allow it. Like, and I'm saying, I'm, uh, let me stress this again. Please learn the foundations, please learn those skills. Learn how chords are built. Learn that stuff. But once you learn it, just use it as a foundation. Go outside the box. But yeah, if is 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 there are people who send me messages, uh, even today, even today, they look at my tutorial, and they'll say, um, "Well, you say you have chord sheets." Uh, I can only read like sheet music. Do you have like the notes written out at like on sheet music? And I'm like, well, no, I don't sit down and do that. And now, I mean, if the song has sheet music out already, I can just say, well, go to music notes and you can buy it. But I'm talking about people asking me like songs where I learned, let's say fairy tales by Anita Baker. I just did that one. I don't, I, do, I couldn't find sheet music for it. So as, let's say someone say, well, it, do you have the sheet music with the notes written out? And I'm like, no, nah, I don't create like sheet music, but I do have a chord sheet where it lists out all the chords that I used. Mm-hmm. And I even divide the chords up into measures so that you know that within this measure, these are the chords that's used in this measure. Boom, boom, boom. That's the verse. And then I'll say, here's the chorus. And, you you know, and they're like, well, I, no, I, I can't. I don't know how to do that. I, I need the notes literally today. 
literally today, but this is like all the time. And I'm like, okay, you have a video of me showing you how to play it. I'm not saying I'm the greatest teacher in the world, but good, 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 moogas. I know I'm taking my time and breaking down every chord. So I'm like, so I'm like, you trying to tell me that you can't even look at my video and learn how to play the song <laughs> that way? It's like, it's it's like they're lost, and I'm like, don't ever get to the point where it's like sheet music only, chords only, and and uh, and uh, the scale, and it, you don't ever want to limit yourself like that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. it's almost like learning a language. It's like learn like learning English. Even if you learn the alphabet, and then suddenly you know how to put words together, and then you can form sentences. Well, you can communicate. But you know, once you have those basic foundations, now, now you can say about anything you want to say, written or orally. So um, I agree with you. You got to have that that foundation down, just so you know where you're going. And it's really helpful if you're going to be around other musicians, just so you guys can communicate and you know talk. Okay. That's true. I just want to uh, give a shout out. I'm assu assuming because the last name on this thing says Harden that this came from Daryl, but he just sent the cash app, like $5 to my cash app, man. Thank you. Oh, the first name is different. You know, I don't want to put that name out there just in case you don't. But since it says Harden, I'm, I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. Just getting this cash app thing. I'm new to cash app, so this is kind of exciting. I'm like, oh, wow. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, and then he said, this is just for being cool. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, did you want to add to what James said, Mitch? I just wanted to make sure I, when someone send me money, I always got to cut people <laughs> off and say, hold up, wait a minute. Somebody <laughs> sent money, so you got to be quiet. Hold on. <laughs> got to shout them out. No. All right, but go ahead, Mitch. <laughs> right, Mitch? I'm sorry. Right. Right. <laughs> Um, Aiden adds something to that question too about um, the top one. Um, musical scales keep you in a box and give you structure. And he said, and good ways to find new chords, experiment. Um, when he when you when you say good ways to find new chords is, I think that's the what I said earlier is you um you have to explore. <clears throat> And not just stick with the um, with the with the just the um the one chord. You you gotta explore because I have a pro. I have something right now where I guess um, if I know my A scale or something like that, I would find out a set what A seven is, what A eleven is, what A thirteen is, what a suspended is. You learn all of those things, and you um. <clears throat> And whatever new thing you could come up with, it's, it's called a craft. Mm -hmm. okay. That's what it's really called. That's just craft. One second, Mitch. I just got to give another shout out. Thank you to my baby sister, Jules. She just sent sure. me $5 on so Cash App too. Oh, yeah. My, that's yeah. my baby. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Mitch. Okay. I, just, I just had to yeah. make sure I put my, yeah. my, 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 my so, baby girl out there. That's all. My baby sister. All right, go ahead. So, so that's basically what I um have to say, really. You, you, you just learn your, you just learn, when you learn new chords and everything, it's called a craft. And you just, um, <laughs> You just hone it. You own it and you hone it. And you gotta keep honing your craft. That's it. Yeah. You is a lot of people ask the question, you know, what can I do to be able to get, you know, do this better? What can I do to do this? And got and it's like spend time. You gotta spend time with it. You gotta you got you got to learn your piano. Mm -hmm. You gotta exactly. gotta learn it. You got you gotta spend time with it, you know, mm -hmm. and it's it's no different from if you're like trying to date somebody. Like if you're, <laughs> let's like let's say you you meet a young woman, right? Let's say I meet a young woman and I'm interested yes. in her. Uh -huh. It's like I need to actually learn think. What what does she like? You know what she don't like. Whatever yeah. you know, especially if this is somebody. I'm like, hold up, I might could marry this person in a, in a couple of years. <laughs> right. She she yeah. she 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 might be all that. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, but you don't want to marry somebody you don't know nothing about it. You know, it's, it's uh, I did that before. Trust me. Hello, I'm guilty. I 
I yeah. married somebody six months after I met her and did not know nothing about her. And that's oh, why I'm man. sitting here as a divorced man now. But we're not going to get into my personal business. Stay out of my personal business. But, um, <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I but, uh, uh, but yeah, like, it's like, but, <laughs> but I'm, I'm just telling, but no, it, it's really true. I really did. I married my ex wife six months and two days after the day I met her. I've mm-hmm. married her six months and two days, literally. So, and it's like, it's like you, you and, but, but, I know that's an extreme situation, but at the same time, if you, you know, you have to get to know that person, right? If it's like in a relationship to see if things are going, whatever, if you want to gel together and then learn that person, same thing with an instrument, whatever instrument you want to learn. It's like, you Mm -hmm. got to learn it. You got to understand like the piano, like, well, look, I ain't going to sound good if you don't know how to play scales on me. All right. So you're going to need to uh, pay some, pay somebody some money and learn the scales or go on YouTube and you need to mm-hmm. learn how to build chords on me or right. we're not going to be friends. You're going to play me and I'm going to sound horrible. All right. <laughs> That's the piano talking to you, dude. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I'm, just, okay. uh-huh. I'm being silly now, but I think y'all get the point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We do. <laughs> like, man, now, what's stay this out of my personal, it, 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 stay out of my personal business. <laughs> yeah. Mind your business. Yeah, yeah, just mind your business. That's all I said. Just mind your business. What what show was that? Oh, Will Smith and um Ashley on uh Fresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> yeah. Mind your business. That's it. Just mind your business. Uh, <laughs> me, yeah. A a Dame Blonde. Do any of you have experience in songwriting? If so, what advice might you give? If not, who are some of y'all's guys to some of y'all guys to songs ever written songs okay I'm, I think I understand what you're trying to say one of mine is uh, D'Angelo's Untitled oh man that, that's a nice song right there mm. uh, for me if you want to want, I, I, well first of all yes I do have experience not on the professional level but just personally yes I've written songs before I've I need to get back into writing them again because like the songs I played a couple of them I played little snippets of them like maybe two weeks ago on my any questions live stream just a little snippets but mm-hmm. I honestly haven't written a song in forever where I actually sat down and like wrote, like wrote it you know so mm-hmm. it's um yeah but I do have experience uh now you, James, you definitely have experience as a songwriter, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. I'll, I'll let you take over there. No, I had a, a publishing deal in the uh, '90s, and uh, had an opportunity to write and work with uh, Arrested Development when they were mm. first coming on the scene and hot in Atlanta, and everything was was going very well. And that led to me getting opportunities to write for uh, movie treatments and television show treatments. So um, I, I, I mean, I was writing songs for, um, well, the story goes, it was initially going to be called Uptown Undercover instead of New York Undercover. Because oh. Harrell was president at the time of Uptown Records and he was, right. they were heavily involved with that TV show. And I had an opportunity to send material to it, but then he moved to Motown. Mm-hmm. And things just kind of changed. Although I think Heavy D did tape up the Uptown Records when he went to Motown. But um, so, long story short, I, I had the opportunity to, to write. I'm not exactly clear of Adam's question. He says, "Do you have songwriting experience? If so, what advice might you give?" Well, I guess it's advice for a songwriter, I guess. Songwriters? In, in terms of playing music or playing piano or... Okay. That's hey. good, yeah. yeah, just elaborate a little bit more on your question and maybe we can better answer. As you see, you got a professional, somebody that's written professionally. So, and I've, um, I've met so many people. I've told you those stories. I've met so many people out of Atlanta and Minneapolis and, and Detroit back in the day. Um, and mm-hmm. you know, some of the, I like the songwriter slash production people like uh, Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis, and LA. Jimmy Lewis. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Those, those are 
two of the, my favorite writers and producers. Prolific. Yes. You know, and uh, I tell you, that's, that's just to have met them and, you know, been in rooms with them and just, you know, listen to them and go, oh, you know, these guys are on a whole other level. Even, you know, I, mm-hmm. I, I was coming through the door new and I thought I arrived. I learned how. And see, this is one of those moments when the foundational stuff, if you don't have it, like I said, I played by ear. So mm-hmm. when you're communicating with other musicians and they know and they ask you to do something and you're like, okay, what's he referring to? I got to think about that. Uh, mm-hmm. So it's, it's understand those foundations so you can speak the language. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, someone, JD, said Kanye or Drake. Well, me personally, I would have to say neither because I don't listen to neither of them. So no. <laughs> now, if you said Boys and Men, Jodeci, I, 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 can, I can talk to you about that. SWV TLC, I could talk to you. En Vogue and uh, uh, Moak and stuff. For those of you who even remember that group called Moak and stuff, I can talk to you about that. Or we'll say SWV and Escape. Yeah, we, I could talk to you about that. But Drake or Kanye, I can't nah. tell you. Now, Mitch, I know he listens to you, like a lot of hip hop stuff. I think. Yeah, I, I don't. Well, actually, I don't care for neither one of them anyway. Oh, okay. It's not. Yeah. <clears throat> I well for Drake actually I I don't know what kind of hip hop he does because I'm I'm kind of like a old the old school head hip-hop. yeah me too yeah I know the old school yeah I I definitely know the old school but not 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 not, not the new school <laughs> or the current <laughs> school definitely not the current school nah. so I don't know the current man not the well the ones out there yeah, now is they call them mumble mouth. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mumble mouth rapping. I'm like now. What? Now, Jewel, Jewel can answer that question because she just got finished saying not even old Yeezy, Yeezy? whoever that is. <laughs> oh, I don't know uh, old Yeezy, but <laughs> unless she's trying to call me old like Kim is, I don't well, know. But I don't. I, I, don't know. I don't know if he's one of those dirty. I know they got some dirty, dirty South rappers. Oh, so I don't okay. know. If he, he's, he's I, mean, I realize what's going on. My headphone cable. I need to buy a new cable for this. That's what it is. Uh-oh. Okay. While I'm talking to you, I'm about to go on Amazon and see if I can get one of these cables shipped to me. <laughs> I've had yeah. this, these headphones forever, and the headphones are fine. It's just the cable. So I'm like, I love these headphones. But yeah. I'm, so that's what's going on. I'm like, oh, yeah. it's the cable after 10 yeah, years. It's cable. finally going out. Yeah, I just, well, I recently upgraded these. Yeah. A while back, and, it, and these are AKGs, the actual professional K two forties. Yeah, mine's is Audio Technica, uh, the ATH, I think they call it, whatever. I know they. I paid almost two hundred dollars for these, and I've been mixing and mastering with these headphones for oh, years. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I've been mixing well, and yeah, mastering these, for right, years. Yeah, with these. well, these these headphones I have for almost close to twenty years because I bought them back in two thousand three. Okay. Yeah, and I, I only paid a hundred dollars for them back then. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah, I played I played one seventy, one eighty, or something for these. But um, to answer the second part of his question, I see. Um, oh, beautiful. Okay. Oh man, hold up! I missed this one though. Hold up! I missed this question. Interesting. Yeah. I learned classical years ago, so can read notation but these days mainly just use chord charts and go from there there. actually my preferred option now more flexible and easier Easier. really you know what martin i agree infinitely with what you just said i create chord charts for my every tutorial i do i create my own chord chart and i i think i said this last week i'm like if someone says said well, here's the sheet music, or here's the chord chart. Pick one. I'm going to mm-hmm. go for the chord chart every time. <laughs> I'm going to go for the chord chart every If it's accurate. I mean, we're talking about if both are accurate, because sometimes, you know, stuff ain't accurate. But I'm saying if they both accurate, give me the chart. For the same reason, it gives <laughs> you so much more freedom. It's like, it's like 
Yes, I can sit down and read the notes pretty okay. I'm not the best sight reader on the planet Earth, but I can take. I I, I know how to read the trouble in bass clef. I I know every good boy does find F A C E, and good boys do find always and all cows eat grass or all cars eat gas. Whatever. I know where middle C is. I know where middle C is in between the two. I, I know the ledger lines. I, I I know all that stuff. But give me the, just, just tell me what the chord is. Tell me what the chord is. That's all I need to know. Just tell me what the chord oh, is. No. That's all I need. Did this tell right. me what the code is? I'm so mad that I'm almost skipped over this statement because this is like it, it's almost like it was me typing it. Thank you, uh, Martin, for sharing that. It, it, it was like I, I, I felt my spirit in that statement. Thank you. So much. Uh, okay, now. Um, okay, he was. Um, he was elaborating on the question: What was your creative process in terms of song? Generation. generation okay no, that's, you, go, ahead, go ahead go ahead i would say depend on what instrument um when i was with playing guitar i kind of jammed my way through things i would have a metronome kind of you know because you can do more of that on a guitar um okay. i started getting into um trying to write and play chords on on keyboard um see the way i was taught i, I always like I said, taught, self-taught and learned to play by ear. So if I played a, a root note, I'd find that chord and, and start going from there. Um, but I think everybody has a different creative process. For me, I know one of the things I knew about myself is I could not write songs outside of my, what I call my creative window. And my window would be like from four in the morning to about 11 a.m. Outside of that, ideals, inspiration, muse, whatever you want to call it, it just didn't come to me. In the evenings, I would spend time working on arrangements or mixing or doing something different. But as far as the writing and creating of a, a song, I had to do it in that window, so it's early morning. And um, like I said, again, for me, it depended on what instrument. I don't know, what do you say, Mitch? How, how would you? Yeah, so, so, so basically, you're saying you need you had to have more than bad breath in order to write a song. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just wanted to clarify. I'm sorry. Morning breath was present. <laughs> <laughs> right, Mitch. Okay, go ahead, Mitch. What, what was you going to say? <laughs> I wasn't going to really say anything, really. <laughs> but he's uh -huh. uh, the same question. The same guy to ask that question. He's asking, um, what was it? Okay. To strike, strike. Yeah, two songs until yeah, you song. make something okay, happen. Sit down with a chord sit down chart with a chord and play, chart around. play around. Sure, you can sit down with a chart, a chord chart, and play around with it. Yeah, sure you can. Um, that's all in the <clears throat> what, what was said earlier. It's fundamental. It's called fundamentals. Absolutely. And you just learn from there. Absolutely. But um, any one of those ways could work for you. Personally, like I said, I think everybody yeah. has their own. Better. Right, what, right, what works for you? That's right. Yeah, he says, just, and he said it's just pronounced Adam. Yeah. The right, yeah, he says, yeah, Adam. <laughs> Adam, what, what were you saying? Adam, Adam. Adam. I don't know what I was saying. I was calling him everything but Adam, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, I think sure. he said Adame. <laughs> Adome, Adome, hey, Adome. I have the power. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I can feel it. I can feel the power. <laughs> By the power of Grayskull. Oh, gosh. By the power of Grayskull. But no. It, nah. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, man. But, but to answer your question earlier, uh, Adam, you said who were some of your favorite song writers or whatever. Uh, he, uh, uh, James mentioned it, man. Uh, Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis. Uh, they, they all, the, I guess they have to, I, I always was, always was, I don't know who's number one, Babyface or Jam and Lewis. But in theory, because my favorite song on the planet Earth is written by Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, I guess in theory I should say they're my favorite. And then Babyface is number two, simply because, you know, Jam and Lewis wrote. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, they wrote that song, so there's that means they they're the greatest. Um, yeah, they're the greatest to ever do it. It's, it's, yeah, it's a simple. You know what I'm saying? Because it took you so long to learn the chord, so. You, you go I mean, on. I just love this song. Even though it took me a long time to learn it, I just I love that song. Here's a true true story about Boys to Men's second CD. That was on that CD that was simply called Two. True story. That's the the day that CD was released was the day I got my driver's license. That was the day. So that was August 30th, 1994. That's when I took I I failed my driver's test the first time. Be quiet. Be quiet. Don't 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 talk about me. All right, but um, but then I had to retake it. What well, however long I, I I forget how many days you had to wait to take it again. But yeah. I took it the second time and I passed. And so and so my mother took me. And I live in Baltimore. For those of you who don't know, so in Baltimore the MVA used to be right at the black the quote unquote black mall called Mall Diamond. Anybody from Baltimore, you know where Mall Diamond Mall is, right? You can't be from Baltimore and not know that. But the NVA used to be right there and then you could just literally just and we didn't have a car. I mind you, we didn't have a car. I was getting the license so that we can, you know, finally, you know, try to get a car one day. So and I had a driver instructor or whatever. So he picked us up, took us there, but we had to go home on our own. That was the arrangement. We already had that arranged or everything. So I got my license going there and I'm just like, and she was happy that I got my license. And I was like, can, can, you know, boys and men, new record just came out. That new album came out. <laughs> so she bought that show. She bought me that CD that same day that it was released. And I remember just looking at the titles of the song on the back. Cause we had to catch the subway back home or whatever. And I just, that title does, I promise you, I'm not lying. Just the title on Bended Knee just stuck out to me. I was like, man. And the only songs that I had heard on the album was I'll Make Love to You because that was released. And the song Thank You, they released both of those songs. If y'all remember, both of those songs were released at the same time. And then I'll Make Love to You went number one for like 14 weeks straight or whatever. So those were the only songs I ever heard from the album. But I just was like, oh, I'm bended knee. It's just a title. <laughs> and when I got home, I I believe that was the first song I went to. And I was just like, <laughs> by the time the song ended and Sean did that, oh, I'm bended knee. And I'm just sitting there like, <laughs> I'm like, and I, I haven't been the same since, man. So <laughs> I know a little that, that that was just my little my personal testimony about on bended knee. But on bended knee, I love the song when I just saw the title of the song. Crazy enough, I just saw the title and I just knew, I knew I was like, this song, there's something about this song. <laughs> sure. But that's how much I love that song, man. I've I've played it. Uh, I've been down here almost 24 hours straight trying to get this tutorial done and learn and kept falling asleep or whatever. I probably played on bended knee to myself down here at least four or five times within the last 24 hours. That That's I like no, literally, I mean, from beginning to end. And then you can go to the on YouTube and find the, the acapella, you know, because you can he hear them, you know, the acapella. Ver and I play to the acapella version. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make a video too. I, I said I'm about to make a video of me playing to Boys to Men. I'm gonna have on bended knee featuring Boys to Men and House of Jazz on the piano. I'm gonna make y'all think that I hired them to sing, but now nah, it's just going. It's going to be them. Now don't. No, it's going to be them. But anyone can do it because the acapella is on YouTube. So I'm, I'm about to put that. I'm, I'm about to record that in the next. Hopefully within a week or so. So when y'all see it pop up on YouTube, like, oh yeah, he said he was gonna do that. Yep. You want to hear Sean be like, darling, I... yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to hear Nate be so many nights. Uh... And one, yeah. You even going to hear Michael McCrory, baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please forgive me for all the wrong. I've done. You want to hear it all. But OK, let me stop talking about I'm bending knee before everybody leave the chat. All right. Um. <laughs> Oh man. I'm trying to catch up with the what what's going on. Okay, Jewel and Jay Melody having a conversation. Yes, <laughs> Jay Melody. Yes indeed. Yes indeed. Ah man. So what was the uh so you 
Did you ever say what was your first song you learned, James? I know you asked Mitch. Yes, he did. Oh, you did. What was your first uh, song again? The first song I learned on guitar was um, That's Right Guitar. Hurry, hurry Through the Grapevine, Marvin Gaye. Oh, I don't remember hearing you say that. Ooh, I heard it through the grapevine. Yeah. That was a pretty easy chord. That's the one thing that you know, playing by ear. If you if you can hear musically what's going on, then it, it's such a benefit. Um, I know, to your point, I know musician friends of mine who have been playing professionally for years. Mm-hmm. And to your point, they can't play without sheet music. And then they'll look at me and ask, "Dude, how do you read and write a song? I don't even know where to begin." I look at them and I'm like, "Really?" And you, you call yourself a musician? Stop. They can actually play, but they they got to have the sheet. Mm-hmm. But right awesome. now, I I have to have a chord chart in front of me simply because I can't remember how to, you know I can't memorize I should say, mm-hmm. but it's it's a difference to me like well I I I I only can have the sheet music in front of me I have to see every note that's written out in order to play it now yeah I have to have a chord chart just because my mind. <laughs> I just, it's like if you go say, oh, okay, now I literally just recorded a tutorial. I told you, Fairy Tales by Anita Baker. That means I've been learning this song for the last 24 hours, but if I was to sit here and try to play it from memory, I'd be like, uh. Oh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> so just for a memory thing, yeah, I need to have the chart in front of me, but no, I don't have to have the sheet music. I just need something that says, oh, yeah, you, that is, that's that A flat dominant seven sharp five chord. Oh, okay, got you, got you. Oh, okay, right. You know, so, but I I, I get that. I, I I get it. I guess. Uh. Ah man, that's gonna be nice, y'all. Y'all, y'all go, y'all. y'all if y'all want to learn a difficult song with some crazy chords, sometime tomorrow that's gonna be released. Uh, Fair, Fairy Tales by Anita Baker. Um, what program do you use when you teach songs on? the letter U to, well, I don't teach songs on the letter U to, I, I, I teach them on Y-O-U to, no, I'm just, I'm just playing. <laughs> I can learn songs faster by using your method. Well, he, the name of the program is this right here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it up here, but, um, it's the Cordy. Yeah. Cordy app. That's the name Cordy. of it. Yeah. Right up here. Cordy oh, yeah. app. Um, I will assume that the price is still twenty five dollars. Mm. I've probably had. Let's put it this way: I used to use the free version of Medicalis by Jamal Hartwell. Oh yeah, Jamal. and um, I used that. But the only oh wrong screen. Hold up. But the only issue I was having with that is that he wasn't he. They never updated the chords on it. So a lot of chords will come up with question marks next to them, and like, oh. it, it, and so when I st- I started seeing people use this app, and then of course I had to figure out well what's the name of this app that they're using. So once I found out, I um kind of researched it, and I was like, well, wow, this one it's like if I play like a a, a D flat over E flat chord. It actually will, well, let me show it. Let me show it on the screen. Like, it will actually, now, it will tell you that it's an E flat 9 sus 4, but if you look at the small chord in the top right-hand corner, it actually will say, oh, yeah, it's also a D flat over E flat. I was just like, whenever I teach songs, I always go for the easier way to name the chord, so I always call out those chords. So I'm like, I'm going to have to put Medicalis to the side because... You know, I do these tutorials all the time and I'm always calling them by their alternate name. So for me, I was like, so I'm going to have to, hey, Jamal, you the man. I appreciate you. You're on like over 500 of my videos, man. Your software is on like over 500 of my videos. But I'm like, I'm sitting here on my videos saying, oh, yeah, this is a D flat over E flat chord. But you're getting some crazy name on the thing so that's why i switched over so this is that's what i use it's called cordy app do you have the latest version i don't know if it's the latest version version two version one dot two dot six is what i have 
I don't know if there's anything new. When I when I first purchased it, there was an upgrade that came out like kind of recently. Like I mean, like oh, I'm not recently, but almost immediately after I bought, I would say like a month or two, and I upgraded to that. Yeah. But I haven't seen if there was a if 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 there was another upgrade. No, because I was going to say, the one you have should have the, because you have the ability to play. Uh, oh, you mean the guitar chord thing? Guitar chords, right? Yeah, yeah, it's on here. Yeah, it's uh, on here. That's I, I just don't put it on because it's like, man, it just takes up, hold up. Yeah, Let me see. Let me, uh, <laughs> let me see. No, I, I can put it on there. I, no, I definitely have it on here. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, I just got to Arthur, definitely go find that app, man. Find that Cordy app. That is a bomb app to help you understand the chords you're playing. You know, even like to Mitch's point, when you're experimenting, you're just kind of playing around on the keyboard. It'll at least show you what you're doing if you've got it hooked up to your, your MIDI controller or your keyboard. Yeah. Is this what you're mm. talking about? Yeah. Yeah, so when I play, it's like, it'll actually have show the guitar thing. But that yeah. just takes up too much room for my tutorials to me. Uh, it's like when I'm doing my piano, and I'm like, I, I, if I could make it, if I could make it smaller, and just make it smaller, I would include it because I have a lot of guitar uh, players that leave messages saying, "Hey man, I come to your channel uh, just to get the chords because your right. chords are usually accurate." Right. So you know, and I'm like, well, I would love to be able to do that for them, but See, that's how it's too that. big. It's just that's too how you big. Play a chord on guitar, though. That's All right, you, you Let me said, move this off the screen. I mean, I guess, I guess I could. I, I don't know. I, I guess I could start using it. I don't know. Maybe I could use it. Maybe, I mean, I'm just playing anything. Uh, let me see something. I just wanted to see what it looked like on the front. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what Ribbon in the Sky looks like. It said too many. So I was doing the skill, it said too many. There it is, too many notes. <laughs> That's because I had the sustain pedal down. That's because the sustain pedal down. So. I let go of the sustain pedal. That's crazy though, and I and I even though I could see that, I still wouldn't know how to play it on a guitar. Even though I see these notes, I mean the little circles saying play this, but if I go on a guitar and I play those notes, it's not going to sound right. It's going to sound. With your your fingers, and then they get little calluses when you start playing. Right. Well, no, but but you know what? I play bass, so my fingers already kind of went through that. So yeah, I don't like when I first like the first time I started playing. I don't play bass every day, but I know what you're talking about when your fingers get all hard and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. My my finger, at least I don't know if it would be different for the guitar, but for the bass, it's like it's it's I, I can just play it and it's it's okay. Right. The, the, the strings are thinner, so yeah. and it after a while it hurts. Oh it's yeah, cal yeah. Cal calluses. Yeah. yeah, so. That's true. Uh, they are thinner strings. Yeah, it's another reason to step away from guitar sometimes. Oh, that's a good way, reason to step away from it because it's killing your fingers. Hey, your fingers <laughs> bleed. Bro, they <laughs> hey, for real? It'd be like then how do you then how do the professionals do that stuff and for a living? You learn after a while. You will learn touch, and you'll know. Like I said, there are people who can put their all their fingers on the fretboard in the mm -hmm. right positions and strong and it won't sound good it won't sound like a clean tone mm -hmm. after a while though you'll learn touch and you'll know how to make those chords resonate and, and sound and you know okay. how you do vibrato and all that on there is is you know all right because you got people that play guitar every day on tour and i'm like babyface been playing it forever they don't uh, I, I see Sean Stockman plays his guitar from Boys and Men yeah. all the time now, sure. and it's like Brian McKnight. He plays it, and I'm like, well, but I, I guess, like you said, you build up the. I guess the calluses is, is actually just making your fingers tougher too. I guess. Tougher. Right? Mm -hmm. And after a while, 
if you get away from it, I've been away from it for a while, so then you have to they have to toughen up again. But it won't uh, it won't take as long. Right. Yeah. Those are some good questions you're getting out there. Though. Oh yeah, I am good. Yeah, I, yeah, they're coming in. Now this one says something about Pro Tools. Pro yes. Tools has one of those built into the door now. Now is he talking about um, Adam? Are you talking about talking this about software that I'm talking that I use? Oh, Pro Tools have that built in. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't use Pro Tools. Oh my goodness, it's funny. I was just talking to my boy Brian yesterday on the phone for hours, and we was like, "What is the big deal about Pro Tools?" I'm like, "I don't know. All I know is that yeah, it was the it's the industry standard. Okay, blah, yes. blah, 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 right, blah. Yeah. but give me Cubase, thank you. Give me <laughs> Cubase or give me death. Give me Cubase, give me Liberty or give one. me death. Really good. Do not give me Pro a, Tools. I had a story with that because. When I when I started my home studio before I moved into this apartment anyway, um, people ask me all, all the time, "Oh, do you have Pro Tools?" I'm like, "Well, no, you're not no. cool if you don't got yeah. Pro Tools." So, no, because um, I'm here. Like you said, it's the industry standard for one. Number two, mm-hmm. it's it's costly because like almost eight hundred dollars for that. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep a few of those hundreds and just give. Yeah, and well, go to I think base. the latest one I found really started from six hundred, and then ooh, I guess when they have like the you, like the pro or the suite or whatever it is, that goes up in a lot of money. That's like Ableton Live. You can actually get a um, a student version that you can pay a subscription base every yeah, month. Or, or, or a stu- Oh, student version. Okay, you'll be spending yeah. a lot of money though over the years because you know thirty dollars a month don't seem like a lot until. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Actually, it does seem like a lot. Look, well, look, I paid. Look, I paid twenty five dollars a month just for the Streamyard <laughs> software. Okay, yeah. this, 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 this yeah. is not free. I'm not using the free version of this. Yes. I'm paying twenty five. So yeah, so yeah, thirty dollars a month is a lot. But go ahead. What was you saying? Yeah, <laughs> And then the thing is, when I seen when I seen them use um, when they using the Pro Tools, I'm like, they use it on the the fruit computer. I'm not gonna mention what the computer. Oh yeah, that fruity <laughs> joint. Yeah, <laughs> the fruity joint. Yeah, the, 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 the strawberry <laughs> computers. Yeah, yeah. the orange. Yeah, I, computers. I, I mean, I, I know oh. they have a PC. I know they have a PC version to it because um, yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. When I upgraded my um, when I upgraded my audio interface, <laughs> and um, it came with a it came as a bundle. And I seen something that said Pro Tools first. So that's just, they only give you like the first eight tracks or something like that. Okay. They don't, they like limited tracks and right. limited stuff. So um, basically, I mean, I have it, but um, I'm trying to learn how to actually use that in a sense. No, I got version. But I, 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 I use, but right now I just continue to use, um, Reason. Reason. I... <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, continue to use reason. I'm on ten. Um, I haven't upgraded it yet, but I know they. Ooh, come you should I... be on eleven with me, I... man. I, got... I... <laughs> I have the sweet edition. I have reason eleven, the sweet edition. You need yeah. to come up with the big boys, Mitch. Come on. So when you get that <laughs> record and your record go number one, that's uh, your your project. I need you to yeah. put some money aside. Go to uh, ReasonStudios.com and uh, be like, mm-hmm. upgrade me. Actually, 12 yeah. is about to come out, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think yeah 12 is about to be. 12. Yeah, it's yeah. about to be released. I don't know what date it will come out, but it's going to be released soon. Gotcha. 12. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I, I know the, the, every time they upgrade, I mean, every time they go, not upgrade, <laughs> but every time they go to a new version, um, every time they I'm go to a new, see, that's why they use the fruit computers. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, yeah. Every time I go to a new version, they um they they put on more um VSTs and stuff like that. Oh so, yeah, it's just yeah. good. Yeah, if you go to the sweet edition, you get uh, uh additional. Mm-hmm. It's like you you pay extra for it, but yeah. um, there's two. Yeah, it's like I ha- I have a lot of uh stuff. And it was like it. a separate download on the website, mm-hmm. like when you yeah. go on your account, and it's like, uh-huh. oh yeah, you can also download all these instruments. So I was like, oh okay, yeah. cool. click, click, yeah. <laughs> click, click. <laughs> yeah, 
So it's, yeah, it's, it's cool. I, I was gonna comment. This, 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 this guy, this getting, gentleman here. <laughs> only because I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm. Let's say I'm in the Mac ecosystem. I, oh, you are okay. No, okay. You, well, le, let me show you what what I feel about people in the Mac system. Get oh. off my stream. <laughs> You're not welcome. <laughs> That's how I feel about people in that in, in that Apple ecosystem. Get off my stream. You're not welcome. Get away. Don't you ever come back. <laughs> That's how I feel about those Apple people. You gotta, you gotta do it. You do it right or you do it again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, no, I don't mean any harm. That's just oh, yeah, you got it, man. I, so I don't I under, do you know I don't allow cussing on here, man. And you saying that you use Apple computers is the equivalent of you cussing on my stream. Why are you gonna come on my stream cussing <laughs> on knowing I don't allow cussing, wow. man? Why are you on here cursing, man? Oh. Uh, what's your, what, what, what's your problem is? No, I'm sorry, man. Oh man, that's so ugly. That's so ugly. Don't get ugly. <laughs> a hard time. Get that wrong. You gotta use what you gotta use to get done what you gotta get done. Hey, look, yeah, yeah, I'm doing really everything, guys. everything you see me doing online, Windows computer, bro. Everything yeah. you see that I'm doing. I'm no, live streaming on I, here. I, I make that. tutorials. I do production. It, it works. Windows computer, I, Windows 10. What you have is you put together a system. It works. Mm -hmm. So there's right. no reason to do anything if it's working. That's all. Yeah, what, I don't want to yeah, get that debate, man. That's... That's that's almost political. That's that's too that's too crazy for me. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I what's do what do is what's, what's comfortable for you? Yes. Yeah. I, I get it. I get it. I mean, and you chose to choose the wrong com company. I got you. <laughs> you know what? I mean, if you want to give them all that extra money when you mm -hmm. can get you get a Windows computer that does the same thing for less. You okay, know what? I awesome. was with you, bro. I was with you up until twenty. 2007 actually oh okay so what made you make this switch well what let, let, let's let's switch this let's switch this conversation to people who make dumb decisions no i'm just playing i'm just playing I'm just all my <laughs> all my little musician friends and people who did like video and stuff in video were using that and they were trying to man you, you got to get away from pc man. come over here let me show you this and i would look at it and then i got a laptop real cheap and I've never looked back. It's, it's like they said, things just worked. Where I was having all kinds of issues with, with PC things and peripheral things and downloading drivers and stuff. It, it, it just worked for me. So, I, you know, that's all I can say. I, I don't think the only Apple product I probably do not own are the <laughs> Apple earbuds. I don't own that. Everything, the earbuds, I have okay. everything else, I'm in the ecosystem. Oh, so, man. Yeah. I'm paying wow. Steve Jobs and Tim Cook's salaries or whatever it is. Well, Steve Jobs' estate, you're paying his estate. Yeah, yeah. estate. <laughs> <laughs> you see him around, run. Like, <laughs> oh, no, right? For real. <laughs> Steve's Jobs' ghost. And, 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 and Jewel, Jewel said, here he goes, because she, she knows I go, I'll go on my rant. You know what I'm saying? About what? Apple stuff, man. <laughs> but you know what, Jewel? I appreciate you sending me that... Uh, what is it called? Um, the Cash App thing from your Apple product. Now, I do appreciate that. Thank you for saying I, I appreciate you using your Apple phone to send me that money. Now, I do appreciate that. But you still need to get rid of that phone. Now. It's Apple. You got it quick in a hurry. I'm sure it w works quickly on if I on my Android. Too. Come on now. Let's see. Okay. All those out there who have Androids or or what's the other one? Google or yeah, or send me product. money and let me see how fast it comes to my phone. Yes, exactly. All y'all out there here, send me money and I'll let y'all know how fast it comes. Money cometh. Okay, now let me stop. <laughs> I don't believe in that stuff. I'm just joking, y'all. I do not believe in that. I'm trying to put some money in your pocket. <laughs> You know, oh, so he knows the five heartbeats. So you real cool. You real cool because you know the five heartbeats, man. No, I know the five heart back in the day, man. Y'all used to be on that joint every Saturday. Oh my goodness, man. Now, now, this stream is a fan of the five heartbeats. Trust me. So yeah, 
Sure. <laughs> I'm trying to put some money. That's why I always say with, with him on his part, I say put some money in his pocket. That's I'm actually, it's a re changing a couple of words, but it's really the big red line when I say, yes. come on, y'all, put some money in this pocket. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> As a friend, I'm trying to put in, some money in your in my wallet. What's in my wallet? <laughs> your pocket. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Is that a uh, lint in your wallet? Look like it was lint in there, man. Where's your money? No, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. What do you got? What you got? What you got? Ooh, what she said. Okay. Huh? Okay, Apple, 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 J yep. Melody, boo, uh, boo, and boo. Okay, D oh, said, let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go, Apple. I see him, boo. He's definitely one of us. Oh yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I know he is definitely because he knows um five heartbeats. Like we five, we 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 we, we five heartbeats fans on here, bro, for real. Sure. I found the channel because I was looking for five heartbeats. Look at that, see, Jewel found us. Because I did that uh, that song, whatever it was. Two wrongs don't make it right. That one. Oh man! I was your, but tonight I kept you guessing. It's all you know how Eddie be, uh, or Michael Wright be does. Oh, I can do. <laughs> oh, I can't do. But yeah. Yeah, man. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's, it's all about. You know what's the funny story about Jewel? How she started. Um, how how she was incorporated with us is um she in the chat just like this and I think we was just having a random five heart beats or whatever and she talked you know she was I, I we probably was talking about the Temptation movie first I don't know which one we was talking about first and this young you know because Jewel is you know she's like um she's younger she's younger so let's mm -hmm. just say that she was a little kid when those movies came out like a little kid. Like I'm not even yeah. I'm not even not, like no she literally is like so um and I'm like and so I was like and and she says something to the fact like well you know I'm young but I still know these songs and I, I mean know the movies and I say well you know what I need you to come up on this panel and we're gonna quiz you and see how well you know it so I I emailed her the link and ever since then she's been on <laughs> she uh, she's been riding with us but um she was able to answer, you know she 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 knew the stuff she knows the stuff. She know mm -hmm. the Temptations movie. She, I was like, "Whoa, okay." I was. I had to adopt her as my sister. I said, oh, "Okay, yeah, you, you, you family, okay." <laughs> In the words of Eddie King, "Dang." <laughs> Yo, check this out. <laughs> Match like this. Okay, let me stop. I ain't gonna. Let me stop. <laughs> I wish <laughs> raindrops would. Sing it, Mike. Sing it the way you're supposed to be sung, James. <laughs> Not like this. I wish uh, raindrops would fall. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? I'm just thinking of that movie, man. There's so many great lines. Oh yeah, man. Oh, no doubt. Oh, okay. Is an I think they see another question from Adam. How do you get into <clears throat> writing for? Oh, okay. That's a really good question. I would like to know that myself. This is for you, James, because you're the one that's done it. That question is definitely for you. Well, it's a little different today because the the sinking licensing thing is huge, huge money being made. But there's a common denominator. What happened with me? Yeah, again, because of my association with uh, Arrested Development and EMI Records, I I got sent treatments from um, from uh, music supervisors for movies and television uh, joints. So the short answer is it's still about who you know. If you know somebody in the industry, they can help you get, mm -hmm. get in there. But let me put it to you like this: you got to have your music tight. Yes. Your music has to be hyped. Yes, it you does. Very well. Um, you want to have uh, a catalog. And see, that's one thing I didn't know. Back in the day when I was first songwriting, we would write a song. We'd go and spend whatever the charge was, 50 to $75 to get it registered. Yeah, copyright. Uh, and didn't know anything about how you can register a whole volume of songs at one time. If you know how to package everything and put it together. So today that is one of the great advantages you know you can do that you can send them mp3s 
Yep, right on. For, yep, you don't ever you don't have to leave your house. You can go oh. right to Library of Congress website right now and yes. go to the copyright thing, and you can just upload MP3s, lyric sheets. Mm-hmm. You can type the lyric. Yeah, it's real simple. But but Adam, let me say this too, and this is a life lesson uh, from brother had to learn the hard way. Yeah. Anything involved in music, anytime anybody's asking you to pay money, there's a flag that should go up. You should never have to. If somebody outside liked, of copywriting your music, now you outside, do have to pay for that. You but do I mean, pay for outside that. of copywriting, registering it. But if if somebody's saying, "Yeah, I'll license your 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 packages, give me two hundred fifty dollars," the flag should go up because they want you. Uh, they Is will it? find you. And they will contact you, and they will offer you money. A flag should always go up when they start asking you to pay money out. Mm-hmm. You know, services. There are services out there that have been around for years, like taxi and different ones that you know I've charge taxi. Oh, that, taxi, yes. I, know. Uh, I, I don't want to say anything disparaging about them, but I just say I've, I've learned and lived by that principle. If they're asking for money, a flag goes up, and I say, you know what? I think I'll pass. You know, another opportunity will come along. If you believe in your your material, you believe in your stuff, you should be okay. But get your songs cataloged, get them tight. Um, you gotta when have. You say okay. Cataloged. When you say catalog, exactly what do you mean? Like, okay. well, what? Well, what's tell us what catalog to mean? If, if I were going to do, for instance. Um, if I were going to send somebody some instrumental tracks, I would want to have um, like a playlist of here are up tempo themes that could be played in different movies. You know, uh, here are uh, more cinematic sounding tracks that could be it's played. Electronic orchestra type sound. Yeah, yeah, you know, but even you know nowadays they're looking for a lot of trap. Listen to these commercials and stuff. You know, yeah. your, your your major. Uh, market uh, marketing agencies that work with big companies like Target and different, they're, they're looking for trap music and different kind of songs. So if that's what you do, package that stuff up, put you together a, uh, a MP3 playlist of those songs, and get those mm-hmm. things, uh, at least registered as a volume, and and so that you get credit for that. But at the same time. Um, because I know there's so many music houses out there now. There's so many uh, places you can go. And, I, you know, because there are people, that's all they do, man. They they don't have jobs, nine to fives, like maybe like you or I. They This is what they do all day. They wake up and throw tracks together or beats together and mm-hmm. send them off. But the one thing the music business or any kind of business is always about, is always about relationship. You yeah. gotta have relationship. Um, mm-hmm. And this is a term you'll hear, they talk about in sports, but the, the best ability is availability. So if somebody calls you, you gotta be ready to go. If there's, hey, I like something, send me this. You, you need to have that to them within the hour. If you can, mm-hmm. hey, give me a minute. Uh, give me till Friday, and I'll put this opportunity to be lost. Yeah, somebody. it'd be somebody yeah. else's song somebody on that, else. whatever, whatever right. that project was. Yeah. It'd be somebody else's. Else. I heard someone on YouTube tell a story, and I don't know, it's not someone who I'm subscribed to. It just hit the title of the video, caught my eye, it was a few weeks ago. And he, he, I think the video was called How I Lost what a, Over $1,000 in Music publish whatever and he the story was literally that he said that he w- he was using an illegal version maybe of fruity loops or something at one point oh. so he got rid of that version mm-hmm. and got like the the real version or something like that yeah. and then somebody called him wanting to use a song and said but just take that guitar part out and the dude was like oh okay yeah no problem right and then he went to try to load up that track into the the, the new version that he had, mm-hmm. and it wouldn't work. And he couldn't get ac- he could not get, get access, access to that old, tr- you know, to the original track. And he said, "All I had to do was just go click mute and mix it down, boom." And I told him, "Give me like a couple of days." And he said he never heard from the p- people again. Yeah, it's just some random guy. It was some yeah. random. So it's funny that you said that. Be ready within yeah. the hour because he said. 
You, you, and he said, but that was his mistake. I think the video was how using, it's called something like how using cracked, uh, cracked yeah. software cost yeah. me a th over a thousand dollars. That's what it was. Oh. It, it, Right, so he could he couldn't he couldn't open up the original project. He said now he had the project saved, but he didn't have a program that would open it up so that he could just yeah. simply mute the guitar track, mix it down, and send it to them. And you know, so yeah. so he lost a couple thousand dollars off that. Yeah, so wow. a nice nice backup plan would have been to have all those tracks saved separately on another drive. Exactly. Files. Yeah, as wave files in a stem oh, folder, like any name doll. it stem. And yeah. then you mm -hmm. can use it in any doll. Right, any exactly. Doll, right. You can do that. Let that be a lesson. But the other thing is don't buy this crap software, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. no. You know, because they, they've got metadata and stuff that can figure out if you paid for it or not, especially yeah. with Adobe. Yeah. They don't yeah. play. Right. They do not play. They'll come and get you. Uh, some other places will just disable your stuff, but the right. Adobe folks will come just, get you. They'll be yeah. one. Just, I, just I, I, yeah, just I, I spend the money, using, man. Yeah, yeah. I stopped. I stopped using crack stuff so long. I did it. I did it for a little bit in the early two thousands. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, the the original crack stuff. I can't put his name out there because he's a um, famous. He's actually famous and Grammy award winning, but um, he hooked a couple of us up, you know, with some stuff and that was fine and everything. But once I had to upgrade the computer and everything and I lost all that, I found out how to go to torrent sites and download the stuff on my yes. own. And yes. I and I was doing stuff like that. And I just was just like, no. I just didn't feel right about it. Let me tell and you. So one day I took I, I went and because I was using, and then here's the funny thing at the time. I wanted to do only gospel music. And I'm like, how am I how am I wanting to create gospel Christian music using illegal stuff? Stuff that I'm stealing. Mm -hmm. So I got convicted. And yeah. I would say about uh, 12, 13 years ago, that's when I finally went legit on everything. I spent the money on Cubase 6, mm -hmm. version 6 at the time. Then I spent the money on Reason and then Eventually, Studio One came out, and I got Studio One, and now I feel so good about my now. <laughs> I feel good now. Here's the thing: I, the last time I used Crack software was 2007. Okay, yeah, okay, when right. I you happened in 2000. I was using PCs, and I had friends that would give me uh, DVD drives of all kind of Crack software. Here's a code; just pop that in and do this. Like you said, I became convicted to mm -hmm. you know, yeah. somebody made, you know, this software to be used and they, they have a right to get paid for their labor. If I created the software, I wouldn't want everybody to pay me for mine. So I stopped yeah. doing it. And that's I, I, and I people. think about the and right. And now I'm thinking about this, like, um, let's say. Now people purchase my court sheets all the time, right? I'm like, now I wonder how many people are turning around and reselling them. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I'm, I don't know if that's happening or not, but I, I know I would be very pissed if I found out somebody was doing that. <laughs> so I'm like, well, think about the person who you stealing stuff from, bro. You out there using that stuff, so no, nah, you deserve to get your stuff <laughs> resold, repackaged, and resold. All right, that's a good so, point yeah. I made about Pro Tools. And I think most DAWs have a way. Oh, yeah, yeah, they do. Because uh, I can tell you for sure, Cubase, Reason, and um, Studio One, you can do it. Yeah, you can, you can do, you it, can do it. it. At least on the pro versions. I have the pro versions of all three of those. Legally, my own <laughs> money, got the receipts, claimed them on my taxes, too. That's right. Yes. I claimed them because I was on my business, for my little business. I claimed it and everything. Uh, um, yeah, you can do it, and it's real easy because, like, with Cubase, with all of them, you can like when you, it's in your export options. Usually, when you go to when you're trying to export a song, you usually can select, you know, like the, for them to come out individually. Right. You just gotta find it, and when it's like, and then once you click it, it does all the work for you. you just sit back, yeah. and it will just sit there and just lighter on your computer resources than Wave files, but you definitely should have those wave files and say, well, I got a question for you that I've always wanted to know. And I've been for you. 
I've been following you since 2007. Oh, I don't know if I'm if I'm certified to answer it, but okay, let's see. You, you see that look on my face down there? That's that's how I'm that's how I'm feeling right now. Like, <laughs> what the heck is he? Look, look, let me see if I can re reinvent it. I only did that pose like two minutes before the live stream started. I took that picture. Let me see. All right. Is that cool? Is that cool enough? Mm, okay, yeah. all right, go ahead. What's your question? <laughs> Yeah, because so, like, hmm. oh yeah. <laughs> Any questions, right? How do you write? I mean, not write. How do you um produce these tutorials on other people's music? Do you get copyright strikes? Oh, whoa, whoa. That's the question. whoa! In the words of Jay Melody, whoa, <laughs> <laughs> whoa. <laughs> all right. Well, this is this this is the story behind that. Um, I've only had the actual strike, the strike that is, that could be detrimental to you. That's only happened to me once on a tutorial. Um, and that was someone that actually personally claimed that strike on me. It wasn't YouTube doing it automatically. It was someone literally, it, it was the artist. He claimed that he was the artist. And, um, cause I talked, I wound up emailing the person they decided to lift the strike off for me because I I literally because when they so when someone personally gives you a strike, YouTube will give you their email address, contact information, and I literally contacted the person and said, "Look, I wasn't you know I didn't know that you know just playing the song and teaching the song, whatever, whatever." And I said, "I I would appreciate it if you take the strike off, and I will just delete the video." I said, mm -hmm. and, and he actually he actually responded and said, you know what? I appreciate you coming at me like this. Keep the video up. And he took the strike off anyway and said, just keep uh -huh. the video up. It's okay. Wow. So that's the only time I ever got a strike that could literally shut this all the way down. Now, what I get quite often, <laughs> especially on those live streams on Saturdays, oh, my goodness, I'll get a whole list of stuff. Uh, songwriters and uh, uh, publishing and all this stuff that's claim all these songs and say, well, now you have to share revenue with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay. ten, eleven, twelve, with well, fifteen different companies. So I really don't make any money off those live streams um, because we're recreating these songs and stuff like that. So those are not strikes, okay. but. I, but it's like you got to share revenue. So if I'm sharing revenue with 15 different companies, my cut might literally, not figuratively, literally be one cent. Like I'll, I'll look at the video, like after it's all said and done, it'll be like, okay, yeah, you no, it'll say less than one cent. It literally will say that it will have a less than sign, zero, zero dot one. So I'm like, okay. okay. Now for the tutorials, I found the workaround. I found the workaround. Okay. Sometimes what I do is okay, just like I did with the Anita Baker song. Before I filmed the tutorial, I just filmed a version of me just playing the song, the way I would I would play it on a tent on a tutorial at the beginning. You know, at the beginning of my tent, I can't even say it right. At the beginning of my tutorials, I always play the song. A little bit of the song so i just so now what i do is i'll just play it like and then you know i'll play it and then i upload it so i'll play it i play like one minute of the song i upload it to youtube and then i sit back and see what youtube because now youtube will their automatic system will tell you before you publish the video mm -hmm. if there's copyright issues. It tells you that now. Yeah. So I look at it, and now if it says, oh, yeah, this is being claimed, you know, you have to share revenue, I'll say, ah, okay. So then I'll delete that thing, and then i make two copies of the tutorial. i make one copy, one video where I'm just simply playing the song. And then at the end of that video, I'll say, now, if you would like to... Uh, see a complete breakdown or whatever, click the link that's getting ready to pop up here or in the description, and it will take you to another video. Where I, the reason why I make that is because that video, is I have to share revenue off the, of the money I make with me playing it. 
But when I'm doing just a tutorial and I'm not playing the song, but I'm just playing chords, it that's never cool. hit me. It never hit me. That's awesome. So that's so. So whenever you see a tutorial, that's my secret. And I figured that out on my own too. I because I was like getting hit left and right. Mm. Like yo, they like yo, you gotta share your revenue. Yeah, you gotta share your revenue. I'm like, well, my revenue's starting to go down now because all my videos are. Nah, nah. So, so that's so that's that's my trick, is I'll make two videos and I'll say, okay, yeah, and then what I do is I usually keep that video unlisted because I want people to actually click on the tutorial because yes. I don't have to share revenue on that one. Now, once you click that tutorial, if you want to go ahead on and listen to the other one, okay, that's fine. I got your click already. You see what I'm saying? I got your click already. You know what I'm saying? I, I got the commercial. I got the ad. Now you can go over and I still will make money off of that other video. It's just not going to be as much because I got to share the revenue. Right. And then I'm like, and then hopefully that person will come back to the tutorial. Guess what? Now I got two clicks. <laughs> so now where I would normally only get one click on the video, I might get two clicks if they decide, okay, yeah, I like the way he played it. Let me go back to it. So they click that link in that video that brings them back. Now that one person to click the video twice. And now I'm like, take that, YouTube. Now, huh, take that. Trying to take my money, man. So that's my, yeah, so, so that's how I do it. I didn't mean for you to give the secret sauce. Uh, oh, uh, yes. It's a, well, it's so, I mean, most people don't look at no live stream two hours into a live stream unless they're on already. So, you know what I'm saying? So, uh -huh. it's, it's all good. I really did. I, yeah, I don't like putting it out on online like that. But I'm like, how many people are really going to look at this live stream outside of the people that's on it now uh, and come, come to the two-hour mark and just sit there? It's cool. So, yeah. Let me see his favorite oh, Stevie this, Wonder Mitch. album. This is for Mitch. Right, Mitch? I don't know if he's still there because he turned to Right. Oh, there you go. Right, Mitch? <laughs> right. <laughs> so what, what's your favorite Stevie Wonder album? My favorite Stevie Wonder album? Um, Songs in the Key of Life. Yeah, I think you said that before, too. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> um... I'm not as familiar with his albums as I am just his songs, certain his songs. So I would have to answer it as in some of my favorite. What my it's a cross. I mean, I love Ribbon in the Sky, but if I have to say a song that I really love by him, mm -hmm. it's two songs, and I don't know which one I like the most. I like For Your Love off his Conversations Peace album. Right. You remember that? For Your Love. I, would, I love I that. I love that song, man. <laughs> and I, even, I did a tutorial, I think, free for that one. Because yes, I, 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 just, I just wanted to learn it. I just wanted so I, I, I put a tutorial because I, I, like, I just want to learn this song. I don't even think someone paid me to do that one. They might have. I can't remember. But then the other one is from uh, Jungle Fever, man. These oh. three words, oh, the sweet as Between those two songs, man, I'm like, I don't know which one is the number one. And I and I love Ribbon in the Sky. I love Lately because of Jodeci, if I was to be honest, because that was the first time I ever heard Lately was when, oh, when Casey and JoJo did it. But if you want to talk about like some, it's like I have to go to his later songs a lot of people will go to his songs from the 60s or 70s but for me i think for your love was that early 90s in or was that when 95 95 okay and then conversations peace was after that i think that album mm -hmm. so but those two songs man man i love those <laughs> songs i was like those, those are songs i could just just put on repeat and just listen over and over when was the last time that they heard you say, Mother or Father, I love you? Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, uh, top three. I'm going to okay. go with Mitch. Songs in the Keep Life. Okay. Yes. Jungle Fever soundtrack. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here's my, here's the sleeper. The Secret Life of Plants. Oh. Oh, he did most of that. Uh, he, mo he did most of that soundtrack? 
That's his. his, his yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I know. I know the movie. Don't sleep on that. People, okay. it's not commercially out there, but he's got some really nice songs on that. Send one your love. Send one your love. Ooh. With the desert road. That's on that album. Yeah. With the desert That's roses. Song for me. Da, 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 da. No, in Life of Plants, was that a movie soundtrack? There was no, a, you know, I'm thinking of another movie called Life of Something Else. No, Never mind. We did about that other movie that was more recent, like in the 2000s. Yeah, I'm, okay, I'm definitely this, confused. Yeah, Secret Life of Plants album. Double plants. album, man. That's, don't sleep on that joint. Go look at it. Mm. It's Black Orchid. Yeah, Nathan Nelson says songs in the key of life. Don't Can't sleep. imagine. And please don't. I mean, please listen to Can't Imagine on his last album. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't. I definitely don't know his last album. Mm-hmm. Ribbon in the Sky is my favorite song. It's just something about the way Stevie plays the piano on that song that speaks to me. Mm. I, I agree. <laughs> I definitely agree, <laughs> Mr. DZ. Absolutely. So, James, what's your favorite uh, top three uh, Boys to Men songs? No, I got y'all gonna talk about Stevie. I gotta bring boys and men in here. Now, what's up? What's up? We wanna talk boys and men now. What's up? This is my stream. We talking boys money tonight. Oh, <laughs> um, okay. Uh, oh man, he gotta think real hard. That's not yeah, cool, man. You so you you supposed to just be like, oh, you you supposed to be ready with that answer when it comes to boys and men. You, 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 you should be ready, man. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Okay. It's so hard. <laughs> I like the the stuff. All right, four seasons of loneliness. Oh yeah, Jamie Jam, Terry Lewis. That's they wrote that song and produced it. Yep. One sweet day. Okay, that was Walter Afnis, whatever that dude named that do all the Mariah Curry songs and all the rest of the group in Mariah wrote it too. And then I'm torn between the song from Mama and End of the Road. I'm torn between those two. Hmm. Hmm. A song for the one thing about a song for Mama, and I said this too, I think, because we had Boys to Midnight. Well, my birthday was Boys to Midnight. Yes. So I don't know if it was then when I said it or not, but um, beautiful song, very beautiful song, but it's it never. I know it. I can play it. I did a tutorial on it. I, I've sung it, but it's never touched me, though. <laughs> it's, it's like it's just never really touched me like that. And it's a beautiful song. Oh, my goodness. There's a reason for that for me, because when we were yeah. kids, um, we had cousins, and their mother's name was Sadie. So, okay. Course, you, know, you got that classic song. Got Sadie. Year, say, and my mother was literally mad at us. Like, Mom, what, what 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 can we do? You know, because me and my brother were musicians. Just like, I, I, how come y'all didn't write a song for me? Because your name is Iola. That's that's, that's, that's Iola. Of, you I, are the girl I, that I never had, and I want you. Oh, never mind. I was thinking of Aisha by another bad creation. So, <laughs> Aisha. <laughs> we seemed to appease her by doing a rendition of song for Mama. She was cool. She got off our back. But for years, we used to have to. We would just look at our cousins, take them in the alley, and get them up. They would come and say, say it on your mother's birthday, and we'd be mad. It's like you know, it's just gonna cause a rift between our moms. Why? I just remember the intro. I always love my mama. You taught me everything and everything you've given me. I always keep it inside. You're the driving force of my life. This is for all the mamas out there. And is not anyone or anything that I can I know I'm messing up the words And it just wouldn't feel right If I didn't have you by my side Now what's the part after that? You were there um, 
prepare for me to love and care for me when scout no that's not the right stars were great i don't know what the chords are after that whenever i was down you were always there what chord do i go to come for me to d major okay and no one else can me what you have been to me you will always be and where did i go from there you will always be the girl what chord do i go there I'll always be the girl in my life for all time. Something like that, yeah. Mm. Mama. Ooh, yeah. yeah I hold up. In the end of the road, of course, I know how to play that one. Oh, I'm doing the one, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm doing the one, yeah. Okay, um. I Deezy said on bending knee, great choice. That's right. That's always to be number one. James about to get kicked off on here a second time because he didn't say on bended knee. He got kicked off for lo loving Apple computers. Now he's going to get kicked off for not saying on bended knee. Yeah, he's going to let me stay on here because I know the secret sauce of how he works around these tutorials. Yeah, exactly. You have to say the stuff that I like to hear. There you go. That That's how we work. That's how we do it around here. Little Things. I, I love that song. Um, that's off the Coolie High Harmony album, actually. Uh, it's one of the fast songs. Uh, it wasn't a single. But it's one of Sean's songs, man. Sean Stockman, he leads that song. When I want someone to give me the world, you instead gave me a smile and let me know that you were my girl. And when I wanted fancy things, gold watches, diamond rings, you gave me your hand. Because only you can understand that little things mean a lot. Appreciate what you got. Okay, them get me. Okay. And I'll make love to you. Of course, everybody knows that song. You, you cool, DZ. You cool. I thought I was going to kick you off, man. What kind of Boys to Men fan are you? The number one. How about that? <laughs> oh, you, oh, you say he was talking to James, my bad. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Man. It's all good. Yeah, what kind of fan are you? Yeah, that is a good question. Yeah. Did yeah. you, now, James, did you see uh, the, the gift that was given to me before my birthday stream, man? No. Oh man, I, oh man, I got. I don't know if I if, if, if uh, I know I'll get a strike, but uh, it was arranged for Sean Stockman to wish me a happy birthday on my birthday, and it what? was played on my stream. It's actually on my channel. Actually, if you go on my channel, you'll see I put a um a, a, this go around my birthday. My birthday was March fifth, so okay. I would say like two weeks around that time. Look for it. You'll see a picture of Sean Stockman oh. and a picture of me looking like this. Oh. As the thumbnail, <laughs> oh my. And, and he actually wished me a happy birthday. You know, it, it, it was arranged by you know some some people on the uh, stream. So yeah, that was I, I, I couldn't believe it. And he actually sung his verse on on bended knee too. He actually on the guitar, well, no, not the guitar, not on that one, but he actually sung happy birthday and even said, "Dear Richard," they said, "Happy birthday, Mr. Richard Butler." I was like. He is talking to me because I didn't realize he was talking to me at first. I thought somebody just found a clip of him wishing someone named Richard a happy birthday. You know what I'm saying? And wow. just thought it was funny. Nah, but this dude said, happy birthday, Mr. Richard Butler. <laughs> he said, and your House of Jazz family uh, put this together. I was sitting there with my mouth oh, on like. <laughs> that's love. That's love, y'all. Yes, indeed. That's yes, indeed, love. man. So I, I I, still talk. That that was, what, almost six months ago? I'm, I'm still talking about it, man. <laughs> yeah, I got to go look that one up. That's, that's, yeah. that's the keeper right there. Uh, Nathan said, "Water runs dry." Life in the magazine, make love to you, and the entire Christmas project. That was nothing but Brian McKnight and Boys the Men, the Christmas yeah. project, because yeah. Brian McKnight like wrote and produced every song with them, along with with them. Yeah, that was that was a Christmas project. Was very it's 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 incredible, man. Just look up House of Jazz, Sean Stockman wishing me a happy birthday. Yep, that's that's like the name of the video. Yeah. Yeah, if you look it up, it's it's on there. You know, I, I had to. Uh, it happened on. It, I was surprised with it during the live stream, but then after that, I took uh, took that that section and uploaded it as a video by itself. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I had to make sure everybody saw that Sean Stockman from Boys to Men, which which okay. we wish me a happy birthday. Yeah, mm. be yeah. jealous. It's okay. Y'all yeah. can be jealous. It's okay. Miss, Miss be Chief. jealous. Yeah, yeah. Her, her top three. Um, 
What is your least favorite boys to men song? Oh no, we don't talk about least favorite boys to men song. No least. Okay, time to kick him out, man. Time to kick him out. <laughs> I was just saying that he could stay, but now nah, we gotta kick him out now. <laughs> Sorry, DZ. Least favorite boys. To Sorry, men DZ. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, that song is called Non-Existent. <laughs> it's called Non-Existent. Yeah, the, my least favorite song is, yeah, it's called Non-Existent. Yeah. Go up, go. Go up a couple um, to uh, Jewel. She had her top three. I don't know if you put Oh, Jewel's? Oh, no, I didn't Jewel? see Jewel. Hold on. I, 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 I yeah. got to get the baby sis up in here. Let It Snow from the Christmas album. That's what's up. I will get there. And Khalil. Oh, she knows about Khalil from the two album. To ease the pain. Of changing from boys to men. Burn, 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 burn. Now, Jewel, here's the question. Do you know what song that chorus came from, from Khalil? Because that was that was actually a song by um, MC Brains that featured boys to men. It was called Boys to Men sequel, I think is what it's called. If you remember, Michael Bivens had Biv 10 Records, and he had another bad creation, he had Boys to Men, but he also had a rapper named MC Brains. And MC Brains had he had a song called Uchi Kuchi, La La La. I yeah. am the you remember him? Yeah. Well, he had this, well, he had a song on that album that was called Boys to Men Sequel. And it featured Boys to Men. And that's where Boys to Men sang that chorus to ease the pain of changing from boys to men. Like no one to guide me. So when their manager Khalil was killed on the MC Hammer tour, I guess and then the two album came out, they sang because he was the he was the same manager that was with New Edition. Yeah. Like when New Edition was kids growing up, Khalil was like their bodyguard, tour manager, or whatever. And then so Michael Bivens hired him for Boys to Men, and then he got killed on the Hammer tour. And that oh he was ambushed in the elevator, and he was killed. And so when that album came out, they dedicated that song to him. It's just called the Khalil, but it actually is a part of an MC Brain song. <laughs> But it, you know that that with the same chorus, the chorus is the same. Cool, but then, but MC brings this rapping on it in the heat of passion that night. He's like this is like talk singing. He's doing talk singing on that song. But okay. yeah, there's a little history there because I'm a boys to men geek. Okay, anyway, um, uh, what's your okay? Dad, we're not answering that. Uh, do you like to listen to any contemporary music post 2010? In all honesty, for the most part, no. I'm not joking, but how about you, James? What about you, Mitch? Sure, I, I listen. To, I, I, this, if it's good, you know. Uh, there's but it's it's, uh, it's so stuff. hard to find good stuff. Yeah, it's stuff. I, I it's out there, but it's like underground. <laughs> yeah, but, but there's some there's some nice there's some nice artists that have put out some some nice tracks and 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 some more established artists that have done some 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 nice things. Just like I said, I live in that, in that, let's put it this way. My favorite decade of music in life is probably from 19, no, it's more than a decade, 1982 to about 98. The music that was made in that window can, it's hard to touch that, man. That I feel you because I feel the same way because that's when I, was hearing music for myself. I was born in 77, so yeah. by 82, I'm like five, six years old. So I, I get what you're saying because I'm, head. you know, I can hear music, you know, and I'm like, yeah, that that was my introduction to music. So the Thriller album and all that that came out in what 82, 83, mm -hmm. and you know, yeah. the new edition. I remember cool. I remember cool. Um, Candy Girl. I remember when Candy Girl was like a the new song that was on the radio all the time, and you know lo loving that song like Candy Girl, down my world. And then I remember when Cool It Now came out, mm -hmm. um, uh, that Thriller album. Man, we had we I still got the original vinyl, the same one that we had from 1982. I still oh. own that. I wonder if that's worth anything. Everybody want to give me a hundred million dollars for it? I'll give it to you. <laughs> Give me a hundred thousand dollars. I'll 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 let it go real easy if you want it. I don't I like think it's scratch, but uh, 
What'd you say? I'll give him a deal. I'll let it go for 50. Okay, well, I'll let it go for 50,000. Okay. Um, let me see. <laughs> 50,000. Uh, Run DMC. Like, I, I, I love, like, Run DMC, man. Listen, I, I didn't have no business listening to half of those songs, Peter Piper and all that. I, I, I didn't know what I was listening to back then. Uh-oh. <laughs> I didn't know what all those words meant, but um, LL Cool J, uh, Cool Mo D, uh, Eric B and no, Rock yeah, Kim. Eric B and Rock Kim, definitely. Oh, definitely. Um, the old school Rock, joints. Yeah, it's like yeah, that stuff used to just be on the radio. It's just man, Doggy Fresh, Slick Rick, Lottie <laughs> Dottie. Oh, come on, man. What y'all know about that? Yeah, so I mean, and that's and I'm that's mostly hip hop stuff I'm calling out mostly, but even with the other music, like the Boys came out in 1988. I don't know if you remember them, James. Down oh, my heart. Come on, man. I'm man, that's the, that was my favorite before Boys the Men. It was the Boys for me, man. And that's it, all that, I listened. I, man, I used like the messages from the Boys. That cassette tape, man. I, I, it probably popped. If it probably because I I listen to that all the time. Down my heart. Ooh, my lucky charm. A little romance. Happy. She's the oh saddest little girl around. All the way. Oh, man. Oh, those, man. So, Bobby Brown. Don't be cruel. Oh, man. That that was the joint. That whole, that whole cassette tape. That whole Don't Be Cruel. That entire album. I don't think, even the ones that weren't released as singles, um, all, all the bomb. It was most of those songs were released as singles. If you think about it, it was only like three or four songs that because "Don't Be Cruel," "My Prerogative," "Rony," "Rock With You," every little step. Yeah, it's like so the album has like what nine songs on it. Like so, five songs was like that. Top ten. And, yeah, I think he had a song called "Nice and Slow." That was a nice song. It wasn't released, but I love it. Let me get close to you. I'll take it slow, slow. Let's take it slow. Get with me, baby. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man, that don't be crew album, man. Babyface, man. I mean, Teddy was on there because Teddy did the Mind Prerogative yeah. joint, but yeah. it was mostly Babyface that produced that, man. Oh, right. Incredible. Uh, New Edition, Heartbreak, man. That Heartbreak album? Yeah, any- I mean, all the stuff before that was cool, but w- any Heartbreak? Come any on, heartbreak. yo. Come on. That was like 88, 89. That was Jamming Lewis. I, Jamie I, Jam, Terry Lewis. I used to work for Milwaukee because I, li- I grew up in Milwaukee. I, I used to work for Milwaukee County Zoo. And I had some workers that were young girls that wanted to go see me at New Edition. It was mm-hmm. New Edition, Bobby Brown, and I'll be sure to and they were coming to Chicago. So we go down the day of the concert, and we're thinking we're going to get tickets. Concert sold out. So I was walking around the arena, and I saw the guitar player for New Edition. It was this dude. He was blonde, had long blonde hair. He was out okay. smoking in the back. And uh-huh. I told him, said, dude, is there any way we can get any uh, tickets or anything? He said, he saw me with all these girls. He's like, y'all want to come in to see the show? And we're like, yeah. So we came in. Bobby Brown was finishing up his set. Okay. And we were basically standing up on the rafters behind the curtain looking y'all, down. Y'all lucky, man. A uh, whole new edition uh, set. And uh, it was just crazy, man. But I mean, you just have memories of different things, but that the choreography was so tight. They were, man, New Edition, Troop. Those were some of the best. Oh man, I forgot about Troop. Those oh, I forgot about Troop, man. Troop, yes. My goodness. I'm still sad that Reggie passed, man. I can't believe Reggie gone. You know, Reggie, he died a few months ago, man. But um, yo, Troop, man, that was, yeah. Yo. Come on. Like, I had no idea that all I do is think of you as a Jackson song, right? And I, but, but yo, but Troop, man, I don't know which version is better. I hope Kim ain't in here because she'll probably cuss at me because, you know, Jackson's is best. But I don't know. Troop did that thing on that song because I, I didn't hear the Jackson song till years later. Yeah. I, I didn't know. I just thought that was a Troop song. And then, like, years later, I was yeah. like, Oh wow! But um, 
Mama Sita, go back. Like the first song I heard by them was Mama Sita, man. Mm-hmm. And they had all, all of them had Jerly Curls back then <laughs> on the music video. They all had the drippy kind, too. <laughs> Mama Sita, I love you, baby. So glad to meet you. So glad, Senorita. Oh, man. You make me so happy. I never thought I'd feel this way before. Ooh, and now that I get to know you better, I think I'm gonna love you even more, 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 my girl. Ooh, my, ooh, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm having, I'm having too much fun. Y'all looking uh-huh. at me like I'm crazy. That's okay. I'm, as long as I'm having a good time. Um, <laughs> I know, right? And then on um, the second album, that's where they had "I'm Not Suit." Yeah. Uh, uh, spread my wings. Attitude. Uh, I will always love you. I'm not talking about Whitney Houston's "I Will Always Love You." Troop had a song called that first, and it's a different song, totally different song. All I do is think of you. Oh man, incredible! Jewel mm-hmm. says seventy-seven to eighty-three was different. Well, Jewel, you know what was really great about seventy-seven, right? I was born, but anyway, okay. Uh, she like whatever, okay. Uh, <laughs> um, she's she's disco, post disco, boogie funk kind of gal. Okay, we might want to put some deodorant on with all that boogie and and funk. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You might need to make sure you put that. Uh, are you sure? 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 Oh, okay. No. Uh, uh, such- <laughs> I, I I know that disco era would very well. Well. Yeah, we're having disco night. Um, yeah, like the second, yeah, second uh, Saturday in September, we're, mm-hmm. we're we're doing discos. Um, we're having disco night. So, and I have a poll up too, and it looks like the song I'm going to wind up doing is um, the Cool in the Game song. That's on my poll. What's that Cool in the Game song, Mitch? Um, that I have get down on, on it. Get yeah, down get on down it. on it. I'm letting the people choose which song I recreate, and I have a poll on my channel. If okay. you go to my community tab, you can put your vote in there. And right now, get down on it is like, <laughs> it's like it's it's like it's blowing all the other choices. So that's why I did a tutorial on it last week. I said it mm-hmm. looks like that's going to win. Has today's gospel went higher than contemporary? Some churches don't even have a twenty-piece band it's getting tough to play and sound accurate mm. hmm. gospel music has definitely changed and we can thank commission and the winings and all of them for that uh and then of course kurt franklin really took it to the to another level um has gospel has the gospel, gospel keyboard players are oh yeah oh my god yeah, yeah I, I i would never I I I I know I would never be able to play like those, those cats. I'm like, mm, nah, no, thank you. I leave that for y'all. <laughs> um, today's gospel went higher than contemporary. When you say higher than contemporary, mm-hmm. exactly what? Like, can you be a little bit more detailed on what you mean by higher than contemporary? Um, some churches. Maybe he didn't mean to say don't have. Maybe he meant to say some churches have a 20-piece band. It's getting tough to play and sound accurate. It can be tough uh, mm-hmm. in, in, in church, man. It, it, it can be very tough. Uh, some, yeah. some of them will keep you <laughs> for hours on end. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Have mm-hmm. the ears ringing come out. But I tell you, some fire musicians. Absolutely. I would be able to answer that question better if I could understand that first part of the question. So, Cedric, if you're here, just elaborate more on has today's gospel music went higher than contemporary. What do you mean by higher? And then I can give you a more detailed answer, probably. Um. 77 the disco era well 77 was also the house of jazz era because I, I i was born 
I was going to say I was conceived, but technically I was conceived in 76. So. Uh, but I was born in 77. <laughs> Twinkie Clark is no joke on the... Or, oh, of course not. Yeah, Twinkie's... Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. For those of you who think gospel music has gone too far, <laughs> do you want a revolution? Whoop, whoop. <laughs> what is it? GP, lately I've been going through some things that's really got me down. Call up the chorus, Richard. I guess I just need—I just need to um, know what he mean by that. That's all. Okay, gentlemen, I'm gonna. Hold on, say that again, Mitch. I'm trying to get my headphones so I can hear what you say. Say that again. I'm gonna call it the night for now because I gotta go to work in the morning. <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay, no problem, no right. problem. I appreciate you and, hanging out. And so I didn't James, know it was like I didn't think I was gonna be on this long, so I'll probably yeah. be getting off soon anyway. Yeah. Two so hours James, and thirty nine minutes. <laughs> and so James, it's a pleasure to uh, meet you. Sure. Like I said, I've, I've been watching everybody since probably 2019. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, he used to. Um, he he was in the chat. He used to talk to us all the time in the chat. Oh, yeah, I was, he, he, his name is like a bunch of letters. It's J B. That's B. That's my initials and my wife's initials. Was oh, my okay. Email. Oh, all right. Yeah, that was my email address, and so it just kind of okay. came over to my account. Matter of fact, I think he fo we follow. Most of us follow him on Instagram, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Don't you follow? I think he follows most of us. I follow, I follow most of y'all. Yeah, he follows you on Instagram, uh, Mitch. Oh, he does. All right. Yeah, all you look right. like. Yeah, you just met one of your followers. How you like that? Uh, all right. He like he like you. You follow me? Like yeah, I follow you. Small, small world. <laughs> it's a small world. How's that sound go? It's a small. It's world a after small all. world after all. Right. Was a part of the initial change. Yes, the Hawkins was a part of the initial change of gospel music, followed by the Detroit artists, which would be Commission. We are Clark sisters too. The yeah. Winans. Winans, de oh, definitely, definitely. All right, gentlemen, have a good. All right, night, Mitch. I guess I'll see you Saturday, sir. Yes, you will. Okie doke. Cool. Care, Peace. Peace in the Middle East. Lots of hair grease. <laughs> <laughs> Finger looking good. All right. Uh, it started with traditional, then nice contemporary. But now, Lord, Lord, sound like I'm jamming with a walking bass and, straight, and strangest progression. Yeah, it's got gospel music. Yeah, it's it's, it's definitely. You know, Tritones and all that stuff that Jamal Hartwell taught, man. That, yeah, it teaches on YouTube, deep. right. <laughs> it's deep, but. You know, yeah, I like it. I can I can listen to it for only so long, though. I'm 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 probably feeling what Cedric is saying. I, I can listen to it for a little bit. Yeah. Jewel says, I don't know. I didn't really grow up in church per se. That's all right. We're gonna make sure you save. Uh but whenever I do throw on some gospel, it's definitely not post twenty ten oh, oh. contemporary. It's not after okay. Okay. Like right, it's not post. It's not as oh, it's, right. oh, it's the earlier stuff, right? Gotcha. All right. Yeah, jazz. The wine is hint, hint. Oh, <laughs> I know that. I, I know what that means. I know what that means. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Um, if that's what you meant by your question earlier, absolutely, man. Gospel has. Um, yeah, and I, I don't know. Is it's like. I don't know how I feel about it, uh, all of it. I do. I, I know how I feel about okay, it. Okay, how you? How do you feel uh, about it? When I was growing up, I told you, so like when you were born in 77, uh -huh. I was playing in bands. So okay. I just, you know, we would play on Saturday nights. Mm -hmm. And then we had friends that would tell us, get up get up on Sunday morning, you can make some quick money, man. Let's just go over to this church and play. But I felt funny about it, you mm -hmm. know. And especially because, you know, in Milwaukee, it wasn't that big. So there were people I see in the club on Saturday night. Right, right, right. You, yeah. yeah, you see the pastor, yeah, shaking his thing <laughs> Saturday night. And then also he in the pulpit talking about, don't you go to those clubs? Like, like, like pastor, no. you was just shaking your thing 12 hours ago. But anyway, he, ahead, he's sorry. doing some of the same material, sort of, kind of, you know, with the flair. But I didn't feel right about it. So I kind of had to leave that alone. I just left it alone. That wasn't 
the way I saw it. I mean, I knew God gave us these these skills, talents, and abilities, but I kind of felt like, you know, you, you got to have a certain amount of decorum when you come before the Almighty. You know? Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> so, that's true. That's so very you, true. You don't want to just be all out there. But like you said, they, they're just jamming now, man. The things they're doing. And, and uh, like I said, I can I can only listen to stuff for a little while. Because sometimes they have them, them choirs where they be, you know, modulating the song. And modulating the song. To oh, Lord, we praise you. Take it up. Oh, Lord, <laughs> we praise you. Take it up. Oh, Lord, we praise you. Take it up. Oh, Lord. <laughs> We pray, take it up, oh Lord. We pray, take it up. Oh. And at the end of the service, the sopranos are all hoarse. They can't sing. I know, right? So, <laughs> exactly. but, um, I, I left that alone. I, you know, that's that's another subject for another day. <laughs> so, hey. Such a good because they love you. <laughs> you like what you're saying, what you're doing there, man. Uh, Say that again. You said what? I was looking at Cedric's comment. He was just laughing. Oh. Like, oh yeah, L-O-L-O, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. That's has that's a Hezekiah Walker song though. It's, oh Lord, I, we praise you. Mm-hmm. And if you listen to the recording, I don't, I honestly don't know how many times they modulate the song. They, it literally, it literally just keeps going up and going up and going up. It's oh, an easy song because the song is one four five. Yeah, that's all. The, the whole song is one four five and back to one. So it's so it's easy. But I'm just saying. But if you listen to the song, take it up. See, but I right, take it up. Boom, take it up. Boom, going take all it up. Way back to the beginning of the conversation when mm-hmm. asked about what to practice and how to do. It's like, yo, man, learn your one, four, five in every key. Because there will, you go, do that, and you'll be able to play Oh Lord, We Praise You" by Hezekiah Walker because he plays it in every key. <laughs> so yeah. that's a that's a very good exercise. Play yeah. this started. I I don't. I honestly don't remember what key he starts in on the recording, but it doesn't matter. Just yeah. play it in every key, and and, yeah. you, and you can listen to the recording and figure out what key what they started, and you can figure that out later. But just yeah. start on C and just. You're gonna play take it. it there. You're gonna take it there for sure. That's right, right. right. Uh, <laughs> Jill said too many gospel artists want to learn, want to be social media influencers, influencers making idols of themselves. Okay, now she's preaching word now. Yeah. Because it's it's a lot of these gospel artists. It's so it's yeah, it's thing, which which makes it like, well, then y'all almost worse than the worldly artists then that might be, hey. might be that may be lost because you're supposed to know better. Let and me, yet you're making idols of yourself too. So your punishment may actually be a harsher judgment because you sitting here like, how are you going to try to make an idol out of yourself? Yeah. And I'm God. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I, I was going to tell you, I, you know, I spent a, a number of years in secular music. Mm-hmm. And decided when once I, I once I became a Christian, which was like I turned 40. Okay. And, uh, you know, I kind of said, I'm going to leave secular music alone. I'm going to look at God. But what I saw in the gospel world is is about the same or or worse. worse right. uh, and, it, you know, it's a business. It's, it's, mm-hmm. it's you know, regardless of what, what you're doing. I'm not just leaving traditional gospel out. I'm, I'm talking about even the uh, down here in Nashville, the big thing is the CCM, the contemporary. Yeah, Christian. Yeah, Christian. Christian yeah. So, um, hey, is this? It is, it, and they treat it as such. And sometimes I look at that and I keep saying, you know, don't forget it was God who gave us these abilities, but it seems like y'all, y'all taking him out of the equation. You're not doing a lot of stuff that are not all of them, but you know, some of them, you know, they're, they're, uh, in, okay, Adam asked, what do you mean? What did you see? Dude, dude. I'm talking about anything I was, anything I would have seen back in the day, whether it was New Edition or 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 a hip hop artist, you know, as far as groupies and drinking and uh, sex trafficking, and it's in gospel. It's in there. It is in there, and 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 it's tough, man, because you'll see people that you admire, and you know. 
you know, that you aspire, you know, to be like as a musician or whatever, and and to see them in these different lights, it just it just shatters that image we have, which is a life lesson for us all anyway. Don't put nobody so high up on pedestals. Don't mm-hmm. like I said, don't worship people. Um, you know, uh, the reason this channel has grown and what Jazz has done here has a lot to do with him, his pers- personality. Uh, he's engaging, it's entertainment. You guys have been hanging, some of you, <laughs> it's going on three hours. Uh, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> how, however, the other thing is there's value. He is teaching you, you know, I, I, I said this when I was on last week, I learned a couple of my favorite songs of all time watching your tutorials. I, I can't, you know, and I said, well, I got to start. I got to be a patron. I got to support him, man. He's Because I'm like, I'm trying to imagine, you know, you can't be making a whole lot from, from YouTube, but got to support him because he's doing something that hardly anybody else is doing. And his numbers show that. Um, and And... I said, it's just so much value. Look at all the people that show up on Saturday that have have grown. I mean, like I said, you know, there was a whole different crowd when I first started uh, showing to your live streams. Yeah, it is. You're uh, right. He was the young guy. He was the young one in the crowd. And uh, Uh Rocky still in the the mix. It was D and it was Rocky and it was... uh, D still comes on on Saturdays, most and, uh, Saturdays. He's on. You know, it was a whole different, now there's a different, a whole different crew. It's like the cast and turn. Yeah, it, 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 it turns a couple, it, it's turned a few times actually, yeah. <laughs> but I'm, I'm grateful because, you know, one of the things I always appreciate was that the females started getting involved. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and oh, I, they, I definitely encourage that. So, yeah. And they bring. And they, they're very talented. Fire, like the females that's on, um, that that come on like they're incredible, man. Like like musically, I didn't know. who knew? Musically, oh my sang. goodness! I didn't even know she sang. Who? Kim. And oh yeah. Kim. Oh yeah. Daughters. But it's she like, produced too, though. That's the thing oh, about it. She sings I, very well and can produce the can produce her butt off too. I didn't know. And so <laughs> you're going, so like I said, over the last year, I had shared this with him last week that I have been just out of commission. I hadn't been watching very much. I had I had really been in just a dark place as far as my mental health. I'm, I'm trying to because, man, I'm not, to me it's like, uh, I say, I'll say i say this, I'm not stupid. Let's put it this way. When you know something's wrong, you get help. I went and got, yeah. got me some help. And I felt like, man, I'm so grateful to have come out of that funk. And, you know, um, I was telling Richard last week, I, I've lost 17 well, make it 18. Yeah, I went to a funeral. I went to a funeral on Tuesday. Uh, 18 very close family and, and friends in in the, in the course of the year. And 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 like I said, it's hard to not even stop in the process each one and grieve properly for them. So I did some work, and I'm still doing some work to just try to make sure I'm in a good place. And music has always been that therapy anyway. So one of the things I did a few months ago, I just started watching some of your uh, tutorials of songs that I loved back in the day. And I put me a little playlist together on in YouTube. And I, every, it's like every week I'll just try to learn a new song. Wow. And that started helping me come out of the funk. And so the power of music and the ability and to see if you hadn't done your work and put that stuff there, I wouldn't have had that opportunity to get out of some of the funk I was in. It was, it's so, it's, it's I'm so grateful to be on the stream with you and uh, wow. finally meet some of these folks in, in person and to talk to you guys a little bit. It's I don't I don't consider myself uh, all that. So trust me, I don't feel like I'm all that in the bag of chips. But I'm human, and I just recognize again that sometimes we have to be thankful and grateful for the avenues that you. You showed me what StreamYard was. I didn't know what StreamYard was till a couple of years ago. I was like, "What is that?" Hey, I learned it. I had to learn it. Yeah, because uh, it's Google. beautiful, though, man. Yeah. So I'm working on my own YouTube channel, and and part of what I want to do, part of it is I want to be able to help other people who may be struggling, dealing with grief. Because I, mm-hmm. 
I went through some of that. The other part is, it's like, hey, we have people that are saying they're asking questions about songwriting and about you know production and different things, or just even how to move around in Logic. I, that's the world I know. I, I have Logic software because it came with my laptop, <laughs> so I just roll with it. But I'm, I was, I'm, 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 I'm gonna let you go with that. Uh, one. I ain't gonna I'm say like, nothing. Go ahead, keep talking. I'm, 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 I'm gonna let it slide. Choking you up. It's I'm choking slide. you up. You feel like y'all. <laughs> No, I, I understand. So, but what I was going to say, the um, I just recently got Studio One. When I saw your video on Studio One a couple weeks ago, I said, hey, that's a lot easier than I thought it was. I hadn't really opened it up and cracked it up. I had a rep just give me a copy. And I was like, Is it the uh, professional version? I'm just curious. Yeah. Okay, and, good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I said, this is, he said it would be, he said, this is very user friendly. Mm-hmm. If you know logic, you'll be able to move around. And I saw you do your video, and I thought, he's right. That is easy to do. I said, I'm about to start opening up Studio One and playing around in there a little bit. So now I'm getting to the space where I feel like I want to actually start writing again. I want to write some material. And so what did I do? Whenever I was having those low points, I would gravitate on Saturday night, watch y'all for a couple hours. Right, right. (laughs) Eat some ice cream and go to bed. (laughs) Y'all, well, y'all. We're, we're definitely good for some laughs sometimes, no oh. doubt about that. Because oh, yeah. uh, between you, you got half of them that just like to crack on me all the time. They talk about the way I my Baltimore accent, and then you got yeah. Kim that's going to call me old. She even did it on this stream, and she's not yeah. even on the thing. That's and then lovely. you got, and then you just, you, yeah, it's you know they. That's love. It, that's, it's it's cool to be able to have you know that you actually came to the live stream even just for some entertainment it's cool yeah i i, I like being able, you know being able to provide it, it doesn't have to always be music so just like you said you, you needed a laugh okay good yeah. that good that we was able to do that <laughs> you demonstrated though the power of this medium in that mm-hmm. how many of these people have you met in person that's the crazy thing no one um that's currently uh, let me just say that uh just just to be safe just to be safe um i would say like with all the people okay let me say this with all the people that have come on the panel in the last two years obviously i know james my cousin Mm -hmm. there's only been probably one other person that i've actually met in real life that's it everyone else everything else is virtual my point is is virtual yeah with connection you can form community yeah, exactly. you have a community. You guys are friends. If you saw each other on the street, you would know each other. Yeah, you would hug you. Would, it, it, so this stuff got us through the pandemic, and and and, so, and it's still it just proves you can have community. Uh, it's it's just about connecting because you have shared shared uh, uh, goals, shared. Uh, things that you we have in common, music and the love of music. We talk about the five heartbeats. Those are things that we, we, we all have and we, we share. So it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm done with my, my sermon. Yeah, I'm, I, it's, that's just, yeah, it's, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm, yeah. Wow, let me just, uh, let me just shout out Jewel one more time. Cause she sent uh, a a twenty dollar cash app, but she what? said she said because for James spitting because of what you were saying, she literally I guess she was you know agreeing when you was just talking just now, and she just wanted to let you know say that we do love and appreciate you. What a beautiful person! But but, but based off of what you were saying, she literally put your name on here and said because you in you in here spitting right now. So yeah, that's I'm, just Joel. Thank you. I'm just so happy to be here. And being my, as the, as the old folks say, in my right mind. I know, right? <laughs> uh, woke, woke up, woke, what's that song? <laughs> oh, when I stayed on Jesus, never mind. Woke Uh-oh, up this morning yeah. with my mind. Stayed, stayed on the but, but nah. Jesus, but I mean, you know, for, the, for, for real, though, no, I mean, it's like I said, you just don't know what you need until you, you need it. And right. if you weren't here, these folks wouldn't be like you have a question now. Somebody's asking you in, in, in the chat. If you're not here, you know, where do we get that answer? That's value. That's value. Wow. 
Um, wow, that's that's it's like it's like it's like it's like I'm hearing you say all that, and I've heard some other people just you know I've had people that send emails or DMs and stuff that would say stuff about you know what how how the channel the videos have you know helped them and even helped them out just like you talking about your situation there's other people that said that they was just in you know some type of thing and just being able to hear that house of jazz the piano tutorial man it's like it puts a smile on their face and before you know it they you know they're learning their song or whatever and it just helps take their mind off My whatever so, so it's Oh. <laughs> I actually, you know what's, what's interesting about two weeks ago. No, seriously, though, about two weeks ago, um, I started trying to get caught up with my tutorials because I, I was going through some some issues. I was going through some stuff in my life, just tr not health issues, but I just, you know, it was my my time was being. I I didn't I wasn't putting in the time that I needed to put in on this cuz I was trying to you know dealing with other things. So once I was able to start doing the the tutorials and everything again. If you look at it, this is like now if you go like maybe two or three weeks ago and you look at the the tutorials I uploaded, I actually for like one week I literally uploaded the my tutorials without my intro. On purpose, I did it without the intro because I was like, "Man, people probably don't want to hear this no more." I said like, they probably sick of it. They probably sick of it, and so I would literally start the tutorial saying, "Welcome to my channel. My name is Richard, and this is House." You know, and I was just and I look, I not did it for like one week, so um, I, I called up. <laughs> well, Kim and I was talking about something, and um, I asked her about. It. I said, "So you?" I said, "Do you like how I'm doing the?" Um, the intros now without doing it, yeah, she was like, actually, no, I don't. I think you should get back to it. She was like, I think you should do it again. That's and right true. after that, I started doing it again. I'm like, That's even the little brand. dumb little silly things like that makes a difference for people. That's right? your brand. That's what people know. So you did your own little case study and found that if you take it away, it ain't really you. Right, yeah. <laughs> she was like, actually, no, I think she was like, I think I, uh, you should do it again. Do <laughs> you, man. Absolutely. I was just, I, I was just like, I, I don't know, I was, because I was in a funk for a minute and I was coming out of it, emotional, emotional, not physical, but like an emotional situation. You. And so I just was like, I just wasn't feeling it. And I was just like, I didn't want to be happy because I was in an emotional funk. And so, and I was, that's why, and so, and so I, I, that was one of the reasons why I wasn't doing it. And so, jazz, the piano tutorial, because I was like, yo, I just don't even feel this right. I'm like, right. I'm, I'm torn up right now. I'm really torn up. And, and it's, it's <laughs> like, yo, so what, you, you, you like how I'm doing the intro? No, I think you should go back to doing it. <laughs> Oh, and right after that i started and it, like i said it's on my channel if you go back to about a week or two weeks ago you'll see where i was not doing it i was like oh <laughs> welcome to my channel my name is richard and this is house of jazz the piano tutorial man channel. Oh, okay so, so we're going to be doing such and such song and then i'll go into the lesson but if you look at the ones for like the last four or five of them i'm back to doing it again so but it's crazy how just little stuff like that means um yeah I, it's just crazy all I say is like when I started doing these tutorials, I just simply was trying to. I just wanted to put some videos up because I had just started learning how to play by ear. I had just you know because I hadn't played played by ear. I used to need sheet music all the time or whatever or the chords. Now I knew chord like if someone gave me the chords, I could play it with no problem. But I didn't know how to hear it on my own. And once I figured that out, I was like, man, I've done learned so many songs from people on YouTube, I was like, man, I want to just give back and just put a couple of songs on and, you know, it's, you know, hey, I learned this song by ear. Let me put this up on there and yeah. see if somebody did. When I did Forever My Lady, Forever My Lady was a turning point. That was not the first piano tutorial I put online, but when I put that one online, I learned it because I can't, I'm in my basement and my washer and dryer is down here. So I remember coming down here and usually 
I don't like going up and down the steps because it was hard for me to go up and down the steps because I was like 100 pounds heavier back then. Mm-hmm. So when I would come downstairs, I'm like, well, all my computer stuff is down here. I, I, I just stayed down here throughout the whole cycle so I wouldn't have to go up and down. So I literally put the clothes in there and I sat here and I said, you know what? I want then let me see if I can go find a song to learn on YouTube. And I thought forever my lady, I'm like, yo, I would love to play that song. And I did a search and I found somebody who had a guitar tutorial, but the chords just wasn't right. And no one had a piano tutorial for it. And that's when I just said, let me just see if I can do this by ear. Like for real, for real. Like the tutorials I did prior to that, I think I either someone gave me the chords or whatever, or I had sheet music or whatever, but this was the one that I was just like, let me just see if I can do this. And it came so quickly. Yeah. Like the song, I was able to figure it out. So I uploaded it and that same tutorial was the first time a dude named P. Ellis like hit me up on there and, and was like, he's a Jodeci fanatic. And he was like, yo, if I send you like, like $20, would you do this tutorial for me? And I was like, wow. sure. Okay, yeah, I'll do it. So he literally sent $20 to my PayPal. And I'm sitting here, I remember looking at that like, I can't believe it. A stranger sent me money before I even did the work, before I even did it. He sent it. And I was just like, and it was another Jodeci song. So when I did that particular song, I just happened to have mentioned at the beginning, I'm like, I just want to shout out, you know, PL, as you know, he actually sent me some money to do this tutorial. So I had to do it. I just appreciate That's all. Man, four years later, man, if he would have told me, if he would have told me, man, I'm just like, this is crazy. Yes, like, is. people still sending, they still sending that money in, like, yeah, do this. And I'm just like, and really that's how this channel started. And I just was, it was just, I was just trying to, put something out there who know who knew this was going to happen man I, I remember you you were doing a few tutorials and you weren't charging anything for them. right yeah I was like, this is so cool and then i remember when you switched you said okay hey i got a way for y'all to you know you want to uh you know do a song send me this and set up and i said oh okay well i can request this song okay i had no idea yeah. i had no i had no idea that i could lose my job because of the pandemic and at the end of the year literally have like more money to my name than I did when I was working a regular job. Yeah. I was like, this is crazy. I'm like, yo, wait a minute. But oh. I didn't even work. Like my, I, I was working as a teacher and the school shut down in March. And then by the end of the year, I'm like, man, that's how much money I, I, I whoa, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, man. Shout this out. is crazy. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's crazy how all this happened. It, yeah. it, so, and and to know that so many people have been touched by it, this, I guess some people like to call it the ministry. I don't know if I would use ministry, but just this you service. Can. You can. I'll say service. Because that's service. what minister, crazy. To minister means to serve. That's all it is. So right. you're, you're providing a service. You're providing value. There's nothing wrong for you asking Trust me, like I said, as there's a brother in here who just commented, who said that you know he plays by ear too. For those of us who play by ear, if somebody can show us how to play a, a song, play, uh, give us the chords. Oh my God, that's 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 value. That's worth. That's why I say it was worth me trying to support you, um, telling other people about the channel because I was like, dude, he's got so many songs up. Go out there and just. Do a search. He might have already done a tutorial for. It. And if he did, okay. But if he if he didn't, you can request it. And right. this time he'll figure it out and do it right. Yeah, but, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes people gotta wait. Now it's wait, people I, don't realize how many requests come you in. Do. You, you they, right. they they don't realize, and it's like, oh yeah, I sent it to you like a month ago. I'm like, you realize yeah. I, I, I'm yeah. one person, and I got probably over twenty requests that came in. I yeah. can't just sit down here 24 7 and learn songs 24 no, no, like, seven. so I, yeah and I, I i have to give refunds i and i understand it you know they don't know me they thinking i might be trying to take them no like it's, if you ask for a refund i'll give it back to you 
yeah. trust me <laughs> i will give it back to, you know I if if, if, you. if you think yeah if you think i'm you know whatever I'm, oh no I, I give refunds back but um it's it's crazy how the um it's, it's I, I don't know I, I just want to give a shout out to DZ for the nine ninety nine super chat. Thank you so much, man. Um, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Brother Cedric's in the house. Cedric, oh, let me see what all of the um, yeah. Cedric said, "Feed the needy cracks me up every time." <laughs> I mean, it's just you, you know what? That's an Eddie Griffin line. Believe it or not, that's an Eddie. It, it's some I, oh man. I had figured out what the movie was, but I recently. A friend of mine, it was a movie where Eddie Griffin was trying to help. Now, it was like, I think most of the cast were white. And it was like a, a white high school guy that got picked around or whatever. And Eddie Griffin was trying to, like, toughen him up and stuff like that. Or it was, I, oh, I, if I, if I, if, but anyway, it's a scene in the movie. Where the boy was supposed to climb up the rope, you know, in gym class or whatever. And he was scared to do it. And I think he light a match or something. And so the boy went up there and he climbed the rope real quick, right? And then he just said, oh, yes, indeed, he feed the needy. And, and, and that's and I, I just thought that was funny. And so that's, so that's really an Eddie Griffin line. Eddie, don't sue me, man. I'm, I'm admitting I stole that from you. But <laughs> it's, it's if I could find the movie... I'll oh. tell you the movie, but I've seen, I found it recently, but it was just something that my friend let me see. And I, I found it on YouTube or something online. And he was just like, oh, yes, indeed, he feed the needy. And that just always stuck with me. So why did I put that in my intro? I don't know. <laughs> like, oh. And you already know who to feed. Well, I switched it up and said, and you already know who to feed the needy. But the ready, way Eddie Griffin said it was just like, yes, indeed, he feed the needy. <laughs> Grand, Stupid man. man, it's just dumb stuff, man. They're grand. That's 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 a uh, place to be. Uh James Randall says your channel is golden. I will be don donating uh old school full seventies music. I only play by ear. I'm too old to take lessons. Man, you're never too old to take lessons. Come on now. Come on now. Is you, you, you as long as you have the right Put your, yeah, put yourself in the right mental state. You can still. I have a lady who I know. She's actually in a gospel group that I sing with um, a lot of times. And she literally just called me. I think she's at least in her 60s. She's literally going to be coming to my house in another week to take piano lessons. So, you know what I'm saying? Is, is she? I, I think she's in her 60s. She could be I'm, in her late 50s. I'm 64. Oh so, wow! I'm just telling you. Right, yeah. So you can, yeah. She, she yeah. literally like, um, yeah. I, I, how much you charge? Yeah, because she's like, and she's been trying to get lessons from me. I would say for over a year. And now that the pandemic is over, she's like, she literally called and said, "I'm, I'm, I'm ready now. I'm ready. I'm ready." I'm like, okay. So yeah, you, you, you're never too old, man. You're never too old. Uh, yeah. Let me see. Uh, about to sign off in a second, y'all. But let me. Uh, uh, hold up. Wait a minute. That's not what I. Hold up. Oh, I see what it, the screen's going up for. Hit it for me. Oh, I don't know what you. I don't know what you. Was talking about talking. the needy. <laughs> when I say what? He's talking oh, about. Oh, okay. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> uh, it's a jazz, jazz, the piano tutorial, man. Back again with another one. <laughs> a three. Classic. Yes, indeed. And you already know who to feed. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, there you go. There you go. But you can always look at the uh, tutorials for the real version of it. But anyway. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, man. DZ like, uh, DZ like uh, 64? <laughs> Talking to you like 64? You're like, oh. DZ like, I thought you was 84. No, I'm, so not here. I'm just... I'm just, I'm just I'm just, I'm just. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes, thank you, Jewel. Got it. That's the movie. That's the name of the movie. The That's new true. guy. She must know the movie. That's what it's called. It's called the new guy. She must know the scene. Yeah. It's like it's a scene. It's something about him trying to climb up the rope. I don't know if he lit the rope or he did. Eddie Griffin did something to the dude, and the boy went up there and climbed the rope. And he was like, "Yes, indeed, he feet the nitty." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jewel. That yeah. is the name of the song, the new guy. That's what it's called. I mean, the name of the movie. 
Yes, if y'all look in it, if y'all look at that movie, you'll hear that line <laughs> somewhere. Are you familiar with that movie, or you just looked it up, um, Jewel? She's probably familiar with yeah. it. Yeah, James said he's sixty, so he's younger than you. Yes, sir. Yeah, James. So yeah, don't yeah, we don't we don't want to hear no crap about you. It's too you too old. Yes, Whatever. You you're you're younger than um James. So we, we don't well the other James. Oh yeah, both of y'all names are James. I just yeah. thought about that. <laughs> JR, I'm JB. We don't do homework okay. live. JR, JB, and my uh my cousin, he's a junior, but you know, I'm it's junior, okay. Junior, He's I'm... James Dunn Jr., you know. <laughs> Rest in peace to Uncle James. Uh Google is my best friend forever. <laughs> she Googled it. <laughs> hey Jewel, hold up. Wait a minute, Jewel. Did you find the scene that he said that did were you able to find that scene? Because I almost want to just play the clip. I, well, maybe I won't get in trouble if I play literally just that one, just just that one line. I might could get him, I might could get away with that. But anyway, maybe I'll wait till next week. Yeah, let me yeah, let me wait. Yeah, if you find it, Jewel, send it to me. Maybe next week I'll you know, when we're talking about it, we'll bring it up and I'll I'll talk about it. Let me go back to the question that was asked. I don't want to okay, earlier uh rat soup. Oh, okay, rat soup. Interesting name. Uh how do you build lines and jazz solos? Um, I am not an expert. When it comes to jazz and improvise, I know my name is also jazz. I get it. Don't. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, if I could, if I could change, man. Okay. When I came up with the name House of Jazz, it was not for YouTube. I created that name as an email address in 98, 1999. I thought it just looked cool. House of Jazz at AOL.com. I think it was at first. <laughs> and, and, um, and I just always just used the name. So when it came time in 2006, when I wanted to start subscribing to YouTube channels and be able you know, I just set up the channel and just named it House of Jazz. I wasn't uploading videos, okay? I just, I just named it House of Jazz so that I could subscribe to channels. It was years later that I started putting up videos and then people were like, yeah, you don't have a lot of jazz stuff on there. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm really, if I really, like if I could rename this and not, I don't want to change my name because most people, if they're looking for me, they're they're going to look for me under House of Jazz. But my initials is RB, and my favorite music is R and B. So if I really, I wish I could, I wish I could go back and just name the channel House of R and B. That would have been so, and that's my initials too. But I'm like, what? Well, but it'd be stupid to change it now. Knowing that you know you got all these subscribers and people are going to look for House of Jazz, House of Jazz, and then I'm and then I'm calling myself House of R and B. They're going to skip right past that. Like, no, I'm looking for House of Jazz. Oh yeah, I'm looking for you know. So, so I'm stuck with the name, but yeah, <laughs> I'm stuck with the name. But I'm not the most. I, I'm not great at that. But I will say, a good foundation will go go right back to the beginning of this live stream. Learning your skills. Yeah. Scales. That that's definitely a foundation. I can guarantee you that. It's learning your skills. They play um, scales. learning those skills. That's a foundation. They listen to each other. It's almost like a conversation. Somebody goes and somebody goes did it did it, and they just you know they know those scales, but they are having that conversation. It's on another level. Uh, I tried to learn jazz back in the day, man, but I was like, you know what? I'm a lazy man. I do some jazzy stuff sometimes, but it's not like, it's just a little bit, you know, stuff like this. That's more blues though. You know, I do little stuff like that, but I don't do like full, full jazz. Nah, I don't do. I can do little stuff like this. But that's that's just that was actually an original song that someone 
in high school had came up with those chords, showed me the chords and said, I ain't going to do nothing with it. So I said, well, you mind if I do something with it? Yeah. Like, no, nah, this, this, so that's, that was someone, literally someone just showed me those chords for that one right there. But see, yeah, yeah. For all those people who like the new, the, you know, um, hmm. what do you call it? The, uh, Neo Soul. Mm-hmm. You know, oh yeah, those are definitely some Neo Soul stuff. Right those there. minor nines, man. You, you know that stuff. Them. When you know those, when you know those. Major nine right there. That's major nine. Minor nine. And that's all the, they know their fundamental stuff. Yeah, yeah. And so when they came up with that style, man, that's all they're, they're doing. They're throwing those in there and it just sounds so sweet. It's just like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, yeah, once you realize the trick, like you said, minor nines, elevens, and you, yeah. you, that, that's, that's the stuff for yeah, the so. It, it 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 just it just you just feel it all in you. Ooh, you like ooh, is that is that the trick? Oh like, yeah, that's the trick. That's <laughs> so, yeah, that's absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, he said. Uh, DZ said he just typed in yes and DD feed the knee. That's interesting that that typed up because I don't actually type that in my video. So that's interesting. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to try that. I'm gonna have to try that as a Google search. <laughs> algorithm, man. When, yeah. On YouTube, Google. So hey, it's an algorithm. And Ju- and Jewel is right. Jewel is like no one should be judged by their old email <laughs> usernames. <laughs> I agree, but um, Jewel, because this is like my life livelihood, I- I'll keep the name. It's it's all good. <laughs> I I ain't gonna try this. This this is literally my livelihood. House of Jazz is my livelihood, so I'm just going House of R and B problems. So oh yeah, and then put House of Jazz next to it. <laughs> Man, I don't know. It's it's, it's uh, like I said. This is if if it wasn't my livelihood, I'll just say okay, just change it. But no, nah, I'm literally paying my bills and literally living off the name House of Jazz. Brilliant. Literally living off that name. So um. Yeah. <laughs> uh, James said that his son is a jazz player um, and keyboard. Oh man, your son should be able to teach you a little something, something. If he play keyboard, you can le- you can learn some songs on my channel, and then he could teach you some fundamentals, man. Yeah, <laughs> the good life. It's, it's good though to see young people playing instruments, though, man. Because so many of them just want to grab some loops and just make beats. Ah, yes. And that's cool. It has its place. It, it really does. And like, you take, it's like somebody giving you a bunch of different ingredients and you take it and you find a way to make a cool new meal out of stuff everybody else has been using all the time, which is, like I said, it has its place. But mm. playing a real instrument, man, live like music, it. I'm telling you, live music. I have nothing against hip hop. But it don't have if it don't have a live band, it don't have the same feel. There's there's a energy, there's a there's something about it, man, when you're hearing live drums, live keyboards, bass playing. That's there's something about that, man. It just Absolutely. resonates, it's the vibrations, it resonates with us. So Yeah, I agree. One trillion percent. See, man, you didn't know I could talk this long. I've been hemped up. <laughs> you know what? These live yeah, streams, yeah. like, if you would have told me that I would be on over three hours right now, because that's how this is how long my Saturday streams are now. And I'm like, but it's like, it's funny. Like, when you get on and you just talk, and especially when you're talking with other musicians and stuff, it's like time flies. It just flies. I remember when people would see now. I was I used to do my live streams way longer than this, and people would be like, "Yo, how do you do it?" And I'm like, "It's like, yo, it's like you do. You, it's like when you get if you, when you're wrapped into the music, and you're talking and stuff. It's like, yo, it's, you you, you just lose really, track of time. Yeah. I'm getting ready to get off though, y'all. I'm getting ready to get off because I I gotta um. I've been down here for over 24 hours and I haven't even eaten a full meal yet today. So I'm, oh, okay. I definitely got to go and get something and all that stuff and then get, I'm going to get ready, get this video ready to shoot up on YouTube uh, tomorrow. Cause it's already filmed. Um, yeah. I just got to get the Patreon thing set up for the video and all that stuff. Um, and Jewel, I'm trying to get Jewel to sing on this track, but I see, I got to give her the track. 
<laughs> for her to sing to, for Saturday. And I, I, I've been trying to get this to her for weeks now, and I just have not had the time to do it. I'm trying to get her to sing this song. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to... Uh, Nah, I ain't gonna do it tonight. I can tell you that now, though. But, um, good night, she, He's checking out. Okay, yeah, I'm getting ready to check out too. And say, hey, can you get my inquiry from like a year ago? I paid you to do a Benny the Butcher song on PayPal and never got the video. Okay, I I'm not even going. To, you're probably right. Um, tell you what, uh, Zephaniah is that your name? Zephaniah McDaniel's. Do me a favor. Do you have Instagram? <laughs> Jewel, like, nope. <laughs> Talking about what I was saying before about her singing this song. <laughs> Zephaniah, if you do, you have an Instagram account. Do 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 do. While I wait for that, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate everyone coming through, sitting. And, just enjoying just us just having to talk. It was more, I mean, we had some good questions, but you know, I, I like sitting back and just talking music too. I, I, I love this. So um, I appreciate y'all coming through before we leave. If you haven't clicked the like button, please do so because that does help with the algorithm uh, with, with and stuff. So definitely give it a thumbs up if you don't mind. For those of you that sent in monetary donations via Cash App and 112 Super Chat, thank you so much. I really appreciate y'all. Uh, just appreciate it. We literally went live once. Hold on, what did he say? He said, we literally went live once and didn't get off until 8. Yeah, it was there. It was, yeah, we used to do some crazy stuff. <laughs> hold up, go Ravens. Hold up. Yeah. Oh, hold up. You from Baltimore originally or something? You, you know that's where I'm from, bro. I ain't know that, Cedric. Oh, I didn't know. He said he said go all the way from in from North Carolina. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> I was on his B day. Oh yeah, yeah. Twenty my birthday stream, even though we weren't live on here for twenty four hours. The crew that was on the stream that was on the chat with us after we shut down, we still stayed backstage for oh, over wow. like 24 hours. Literally, no, over 24 hours. Oh my god! It's like people would go and come back though. You know, people you know go shower, whatever, go to the store, and they would just come back and see if we're still on. Oh. And so it was just like a big rotation for 24 hours. So we, it was crazy. That's, but that's it, love, man. That's love. That's yeah. Cute. Zephaniah, I'm getting ready in this stream, but if you have um, Instagram, please hit me in the DM on there because that needs to be because uh, I want to first I want to verify because people tell me things all the time and then I go look at them and be like, oh yeah yeah I, I thought I sent that to you my bad so no I, I do have to verify that but if that's the case then um we'll we'll uh, definitely handle that one but uh, for everyone else again. Thank you for hanging out. This was episode number four. Any questions? Uh, I'm really enjoying this. So I think I will be back again next week. So I may try Wednesday just to see how Wednesday. I've been doing this on Thursdays. Mm -hmm. And since this is still in the beginning, I'm just trying to see. You know, so I might try Wednesday. But if you don't see me on Wednesday evening, I'll be back Thursday evening. But the next live stream will be this Saturday. Uh, somewhere between the 9 and 9.30 p.m. time slot. That's Eastern Standard Time, 9.30 East, um, e EDT, I guess they call it, Eastern Daylight Time. Mm -hmm. So, um, and that will be open mic night. So, um, that's where we all just, just, we, we, uh, listen to, like, recreations of our favorite songs. But there's no real theme, so you can just do whatever you, if you want to do a rock and roll song if you want to do your marvin Gaye song doesn't matter it's open mic so uh make sure you join us there uh it's going to be a lot of a lot of great music again and i'm gonna see if i can get jewel to sing this song if i can get this track to her sometime tomorrow she she really doesn't want to do it that's why she said no but um i'm i'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to get 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 the track to her but again well, ladies and gentlemen yeah what you say james did you have any final words james Come on, Jill, sing the song for us. Oh yeah, oh no, she she said that if I get the track to her, she'll sing it. But it's me, it's me, <laughs> it's me. I gotta get, and then I'm supposed to be doing another track for um, 
uh, Nisha and Sabrina. I was supposed to be trying to do a track for them, and I ain't get oh. that. Uh, but you, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. It, it's been a rough week. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we're signing off. So we'll see you hopefully Saturday for the open mic night and then next Wednesday or Thursday for another one of these Any Questions, Episode 5. Thank you all for joining us again. Uh, she's like, <laughs> you see what she just said? Focus on them. Good night. <laughs> I'm going to focus on you, Jewel. But anyway, good night, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. Good night. Yeah.